Corona yes, Underground. Right. Let's go. You are now listening to the sounds of the mighty, mighty Meta Baron. Beat up. Macho Samson. The voice the villain. And we are joined today by our special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. Oh, hi. I'm Tommy. Tommy. That's what we're going to call you for the rest of the <laughs> yep. evening. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy Green, but you can call me Tommy. Okay. Awesome. Welcome to the show, Tommy. Hey, hey, hey. It's been a long time in the making, man. I've been wanting to have Tommy on the show for a minute, but you know what I'm saying? Real this, life shit. This hand sanitizer costs $80. Jesus. We about to put that on uh, Amazon and Facebook. Villain already shilling. Is it scented? No, it's just no, regular. No, it's just regular ass alcohol. It says 25% more for you. Uh, for you fuck niggas. For you <laughs> fuck niggas. Fuck. <laughs> So you fuck niggas out there. How's, hey. everybody, how's everybody's second week? How y'all quarantined ass niggas doing out there? Shit, I'm doing great. Uh, the, the porn hub on on uh on demand. Oh Every, yeah. Netflix got, on, I, on queue. I got my Italian <laughs> VPN popping so I can get that free premium on the porn hub. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Beat my- myself into oblivion, niggas. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Keith Barnes who uh, turned his house into a skating rink for his daughter. Oh nice. man, nice. shout out to Keith Barnes. Also, I want to say, salute. also I want to say, man, just a, a big ass R.I.P. to all of the people that's been falling to the goddamn virus over the last couple of weeks. Man, one family in New Jersey got hit super duper hard. Jesus, bro. Damn. family of thirteen, seven people caught it. One woman, one woman, she was the matriarch of the family. Her two oldest daughters passed before she did, bro. Damn. Jesus. Where was this? It's in New Jersey. What happened now? Jesus. Um, families, uh, a, a family. I don't know whether or not they had came back from Italy or whatever, mm-hmm. but uh, family had like half of the people in the family had caught it. Big run it, out here. It was a it was a story like a couple years ago that that rated uh New Jersey like the dirtiest place in America. I can believe that. I mean, I I, I haven't been to New Jersey, so I can't comment on. Uh, it's funny because it's called the, it's called the Garden State. So, what gardens they they got New Jersey got one look, tree. I didn't look, I didn't name the shit, nigga. I'm just telling you what's called. New Jersey got one tree. I thought it was called Brick City. <laughs> Brick City is one city in New Jersey, nigga. Oh, I thought they called the whole thing. Jesus Christ. The whole <laughs> fucking tourist. The whole thing. Yeah. yeah you're you're a true townie, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean shit. Man. Fist pumping ass, nigga. Anybody else has have y'all managed to go to the store to do y'all stocking up or Y'all just yeah, man. I, I went. Shit. I went out there in the uh, chaos. I mean, I went to uh, get you buy guns and toilet paper. I did buy some TP. You ain't my gun. You already got your. Yeah, gun. I already got my gun. He from the East Side. He he bought the gun first, I and mean, then he got the toilet paper. I mean, you always you got to keep a stick with you sometimes. I'm you know out here strapped up like Frisky Dykes. I respect it though. Yeah, frisky man. Dykes. I'm just saying, man, you got to always protect yourself at all times. But yeah, I was out there in the mix of shit. I was out there in Myers, man. This shit was. Like yeah. fucking ridiculous, dog. I remember going. Um, so like, I follow a lot of different shit online, as I've discussed on this show before. And um, there's like the high key internet, which is you know social media. By the time some shit gets to social media, it's already dead online. It's it's already played out. And uh, you know the low key media, like the forums, the chat rooms, all the old shit that everybody used to use. When I saw niggas posting memes and pics about. Toilet paper running out four weeks ago. I went and got a case. I, Nigga, feel you. I haven't seen no toilet paper in the stores in the last. No. Time. I mean, unless you go into the hood, like I, I remember. See, yeah, in the hood, like the hood, the hood is straight. The family hood is straight. Dollar. Like I went into yeah. Family Dollar over there on by my mama house over there on Davidson. It's straight. Niggas like you not. go in there. You niggas, niggas, fully stock. <laughs> niggas would rather stay holed up in the crib with their weak ass supplies and go to the hood. Niggas in the hood ain't even phased. Oh ass niggas. I used to work at Family Dollar. I heard I um, heard they bought a lot of toilet paper on Woodward because they got weak sphincters. Well, I know oh, that they're always overstocked <laughs> yeah. with toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. So that's the place to go. Their whole back room is just pretty much all toilet paper. The the Hazel Park one was white. <laughs> <laughs> the Hazel Park one weak was white. Sphincter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, weak sphincter. Y'all already know who y'all already know who to get at about that shit. You can see him right over there, Elemental. <laughs> <Mafia. laughs> Holla at that nigga. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! So we got a bunch of shit to talk about today, so, man. Tons of a shit. Lot of, a lot of shit has happened, but first, as per usual, we want to spotlight and highlight our guest. Now, just to give my man's a little bit of introduction, this is the gentleman I had spoke about a couple weeks ago, and I tell y'all, he's the best artist I know. I can say that shit. Without over exaggeration, with hyperbole, you know what I'm saying? This has been my homie in my day one. He's made us look amazing. 
Bryce Ennis all over on the oh, yeah. on he, our background. He did, he did he did the first he did the Made first my monkey ass look good. He did the first and the second collage of the had it, you know what I'm saying? This has been my age bizzle since shit, about 13, 14. Shit, that, around, that, definitely, definitely the nineties. You go back to the damn, damn. Okay, Listen, so that's, uh, that's real. We, we survived that whole ass high school that we went to, nigga. And that pretty much that high school, pretty what much high school you go to some charter uh, school that don't man. exist. No come more. on, now, yeah, come on, man. Man. Gotta, man. Man. I, come I, on. I try to suppress these memories. Come on, man. We need to take let them, let them keep it's it. Not let them hold personal. Let them hold it. It's just. Academy of Detroit. Ah, there we that go. That was one of the names that it went by. I switched yeah. names like three times while we was there. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't think, I don't think I ever met anybody that knew Baron pre, you know. This is the closest one. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. So you're original. You know, you're the only yeah. person in the room that know that know pre-college Baron, bro. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, this right, guy's a, a fucking spill it. legend, man. <laughs> yeah, everybody say that. Listen, he was in his prime before <laughs> college. <laughs> before, before college? college. Yes. Really? That's when he had the he ponytail? His, did he have the ponytail? He had his yeah. he had How his much prime. hair did he have? <laughs> <laughs> he had a fro. <laughs> he had an afro. He had an afro? Yeah. I've never oh, seen was... I've never seen Baron with an afro. Yeah, I, I Is it? Uh, I've never seen Baron with an afro. Look at his face. Yeah, I'm not you, I'm, I'm, I'm just making... now getting I need, I need I need pictures. I need pictures. Oh, oh I got pictures. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, y'all trying to cross nigga over his hair? No, no, I'm not. I'm just saying I've never seen him with an afro. This is macho. I was just wanted to see. Ever since I when I started college, I used to have braids. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. He told me about but, that. Well, uh, I mean, I met him when he didn't have the braids. Man. Yeah, I, I didn't. I think when you were right, I think you had short hair, but yeah. you didn't. You didn't have a. Yeah, you know, I, 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 by the time college started, I, I just kept the shit short. He said, fuck it. But he was a roast master of the whole junior He's getting high, that niggas. I tell you. I can believe that. I can see that. Savage. Like, I can listen, see not that. giving a fuck if you was yeah, a man or a child. I, I, Listen, bro, when you catch most, most light skins, we, we keep that. <laughs> when you catch the motherfucking Wyoming bus, nigga. Oh, you know, yeah. You, you on the bus with McKenzie niggas, Cooley niggas, Commerce oh, yeah. niggas. You got to keep one Mumford niggas. It was Dexter bus for us. That shit was horrible. Yeah, man. And Lafayette for me. So when, Grand he, River. when he we matured, he, he tamed up. He got married and definitely got a little bit more seasoned. Tamed himself. Oh, my God. For the better. <laughs> Cause he, be, he became a, he was a he, full savage. He became a political pundit. Motherfucker say that I'm too much to deal. Motherfucker say I'm too much to deal with. Nah, I'm it was so funny down. though. Like the funniest guy I ever met. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what's up, dude. He taught me how to roast and how to defend myself. I mean, he you gave you the, he gave you the manual. Yeah, I'm like people wouldn't even fuck with me. Hey, but that's a strength. big thing, especially back then. They didn't want to get roasted right. by this guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because usually, usually when the guy that's the <laughs> the best roaster, they don't want they don't have time to teach you because they they got to stay fresh. And you they know usually what I'm like the most feared. Yeah, because like yeah. I, at the at the time when I was learning how to roast, the nigga that was at the top, he was like, "Man, I flame your ass." You know what I'm saying? Like right. they what, wouldn't giving you no time. Teach you the, teach you the, uh, what, yeah. it, what it was teach was smoke. what yeah, it was was they wanted to be better. You know what I'm saying? Right. What it was was a lot of people got to realize like a lot of the shit, like a lot of the fear and a lot of the stress that you be having about other motherfuckers, like. This nigga had said something to me a while ago. Like these motherfuckers is literally only popular. Because because weak people think that they popular. They and a lot of these popular Facts. niggas is actually lame. And it was true. It was something I had picked up on early. I remember being in class with um I remember being in class with a friend of mine that I've known since longer than him. I've known her since second grade. Mm -hmm. And uh she had accrued a pretty decent amount of uh fame and status amongst people. So when we got transferred in their class, I just walked up and started talking to her. And one of the little gatekeeping bitches tried to say something to me. Wow. Hold her ass in front of the whole class. Like, that's I didn't that's the best time to do it. And I was like, well, anyway, I was talking to I was talking to X, Y, and Z, and it was pretty much on from there. Like right. the first, because we was in a class together for about two months, and then our <clears> class <throat> got broken up, and we got separated into different classes. Uh, See, when I seen when when I seen him make girls like that break down into tears. That's the best. That was the it was best. like that watching was like... Michael Jordan shatter the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this guy's the GOAT. I man. mean, it's it's an art form. Like, I feel like that it's an art form, but honesty has been, like, consistent. Like, whenever I have dealt with that type of stuff, it's just but like, if you stay honest. You have to do it from a moral standpoint. You know, or, or if just, you know, you gotta be righteous. Jokes. 
You got to be righteous. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, because all good jokes contain true shit too. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Because exactly. Because when you uh when you chop a chick down the size, that's the most. That's like one of the most gratifying things. It truly is. It yeah. is. It yeah, is. I brought this bitch down to my level. To snatch, it, to snatch a bitch so because there wasn't that to as a as a young dude. You know what I'm saying? When you first want to try to start getting on hoes. Nigga ain't nothing more hurtful than like the fucked up words of a female. Nigga. Right. Oh yeah, because they be, they better because they better than you until like oh shit, you can see the freshman people. year of college. I mean, and then plus they work in teams. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. OJ ain't... didn't do it. Uh, David Thomas, he was oh, proving innocent. Here we go. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, God. What that got to do with hey, anything? Hey, that we talking about? Do. He said they close the golf course. He gonna go crazy. You know what that oh, means? Yeah. But you know, man, we brought you, we bought you on the That's show. That's how he went crazy. We bought, we, oh, white, people, white people die. White people die. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. We, we advocate everybody go, go ahead and upload themselves to their social yeah, media. Like to share right but we, we bought you here to talk about yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead, us, go, ahead and, tales. go ahead and tell us about you, bro. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> I'm not really doing anything <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's all like some nigga shit. But yeah. I mean, you can tell, no, like, low key. What you, about you what, what, you what have you worked us, on lately? You Let's can tell, tell us about, about what you've done. Yeah, you've done yeah. a tremendous amount of shit, man. <laughs> uh, currently, I'm gonna talk your I'm shit. Attending the Oakland Community College. That's what's um, up. Um, we got a couple guests from Oakland Community. Yeah, College. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a step forward because I had always put school off. Okay. I always took the independent route, and I tried that throughout my 20s for a whole decade. I did that, and. It only got me so far until I just ran into so many roadblocks that told me I needed to get some sort of formal education. What type you, of structure? Would you say it was for, would you say the education is more beneficial for the actual learning or the connections that you make? Oh, uh, well, those are two good uh, benefits, but I think the major one is that diploma, that that paper, that key in the door that will let, allow me to even get an internship to work for free. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is in my field, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is like there is a lot of esteem and prestige help for having gone through the rigmarole rules. Like uh, independent Tarantino. Did Tarantino go to film school? Uh, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I he think had, he made his first film while he was working at Blockbusters. Yeah, yeah. like he yeah, had I don't think he, he did. had to avant garde his way in the people respecting him. Facts. Like if after you graduated high school from uh Highland Park, you went to CCS, right? Immediately. Would you have stayed at CCS or went back in time to t- tell yourself to stay at CCS? Ain't that home, shit expensive you know? as fuck? Is it yeah, expensive as fuck? It's nine thousand dollars a semester. Yeah. Woo! I, I, and yeah, this is two thousand and three. So it's probably like 20. Yeah, it's probably ridiculous now. Look, what I had to go through to get into that school, and I mean, they like, you got to paint five paintings at least 24 by each Oh, you got to prove oh, yeah. yourself. Oh, yeah. That's the joint. Yeah. Yeah. That's like uh, cash. Wayne you State, right? prove yourself. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the joint. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Wayne State. yeah I, I worked with a, a student from there on my my senior project. Them motherfuckers, they make you do a lot. They are of some work. of the most talented people in the whole Absolutely. world at that school. Yeah. Absolutely, you, you know feel lie. like you're just amongst Van Gogh's. Oh yes, most, yeah, I know. You know what I'm yeah, I know somebody that went. You that graduated from Cranbrook. The new one. Yeah, at the time when I was applying, uh, one of my mentors, the one of the co-creators of uh, Mar- Marvel, uh, that helped create Blade. Mm-hmm. He was one of the teachers down there. And I was just like, this is too much pressure. <laughs> and he like, yeah, you better come with your shit. Because, yeah. you know, they're not going to accept anything less. Like we talked, like Greatness. you said, the yeah. world. What like you get yeah, applicants. people. Yeah, you get applicants around the world. What was that culture shock like, bro? So it you, was you, you was clearly, insane, bro. You was clearly the best artist at our school. And then when you transfer over to HP, you was like instantly the it's best like, artist over there. But when you got into CCS, what was it like? It's like going to Harvard, man. Mm, it was, facts. you know, um, everybody's better than you off rip. You were freshman, so it's like gut check. The shit that they have you doing in your freshman year is so elementary of art. How to draw a perfect circle, and you'll never get hundred percent. You know right. what I'm saying? How to how to mat. Uh, they'll have you in the in the wood shop. They you see people just stone and clay sculptures in the yard, like. Mm-hmm. Like people drawing new sculptures. That sound like the X Men school. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was First all class. art, yeah. bro. It was yeah. all art. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, but the thing is, they didn't have a um, a filmmaking department. Mm. Wow, they, they, they didn't have that surprised they me. They didn't have digital entertainment, no sort of media. 
And mm. I know like around the time where you was um around the time where you was finishing up school, you had you had got your first camera. I remember I remember going around uh HP with Yeah, you. listen, when, man. <laughs> that was a blessing from God. But, you had uh, you had a camera in Highland Park. Oh no, shit! Like, I, had, <laughs> I, had, I had never, had a I never <laughs> seen myself <laughs> on camera jump your ass. until I was like fifteen years 15, old. 16. Wow! Yeah. Never seen myself in motion, you know. Mm. And so, I, so like, what was that feeling like? This nigga uh, couldn't stop shooting, dog. This pretty nigga, much. This nigga was shooting everything. I Does remember stop for like <laughs> five years straight. Okay. The old, like the old J and Dre tapes. Listen, there's soon to be classics. The Barlow tapes. Shout yeah. out to shout out to the homie Barlow. <laughs> so um grown yeah, man. ass man in a teenager's body. I'm slowly releasing that series online on my YouTube okay. page. So but, you, yeah. what's what's the YouTube page? It's youtube.com slash whitewood ENT. Tell us about Whitewood. Yeah, bro. tell us about that. Uh well, after I was like, why am I wasting nine thousand dollars at CCS? And they got me in digital animation, which is cool. You know, I'm learning how to storyboard. Shout out to CCS, they taught me how to storyboard. Um, but other stuff didn't relate to my interests. I left the school, dropped out the same year that Kanye West released College Dropout. Great. <laughs> what a time to be alive, man. What a time to be alive for, especially for an artistic. Never person. forget that shit spoke to a lot of us. That album, but. Uh, Everybody want the fucking drop out, but go ahead. I, yeah, I live in that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, was, I started Whitewood. Okay, that's my entertainment company. What's okay. the what's okay. the what's the for for those that don't know? What's the etymology of the name Whitewood? Why why is it so significant to you? Um, well, I'm from Highland Park. Mm-hmm. You know, Shout HP. HP. Yes, mm-hmm. thank you. Because you know, I I got into it with with a guy at work today. I didn't get into it, but he. He came at me on some on some slash shit about HP. When I, Wait, what he say? What he say about Detroit HP? Detroit niggas is prideful about their neighborhood. I'm like, man. So he, well, he's talking shit about HP. Yeah, he was like, hey, let me hold a uh, a slug. I said, what, what the fuck is that mean? Yeah, I was like, what's that? He's like, a dollar. What you, you don't know what a slug is? Where you from? I said, I'm from HP, man. What you talking about? All right, who was he? He said, he said oh, you can't be from HP. I'm like. Bro, not a good job. Oh shit! Oh yeah, because you don't really come off like a Highland Parker. Yeah, a lot oh, it's because you it, got man. some type of wits about yourself. Yeah, and actually, I would have thought. Yo, I was about to say you got hygiene. Man. Is clean. First of all, okay, let's just <laughs> your clothes is clean. Where we at? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to go you in on HP. Started. You are. I'm just started. saying. I don't, I hate when niggas do that though. Like they be yeah. like, "Man, you ain't from such." So I mean, but you, you got oh, Eastside issues. Hey, hold so. on, how a nigga set trip on you? Where you, are you in Auburn or Farmington Hills? Hell, like Auburn Hills. Mm. How a nigga set right. trip on you in Auburn what? Hills? Exactly. Yeah, I, I would have guessed that you was a suburbanite. Like you kind of. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, people don't believe all the rays on Six Mile, but <laughs> I was raised on Six Mile. Um, I was about to say that's this guy over here. Nick. Oh yeah! Throw up the sick Mac Nichols, nigga. <laughs> Fuck dimes, Mac Nichols. Holla at your yes, boy. Sir. Hey, that's where the majority of the J and J tapes was filmed at. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's okay. Up. Off Six Mile, bro. That's what's up. Um, Classic shit, man. So yeah, that's man. Whitewood, man. What's where, where'd the name Whitewood come from? Uh, know? yeah. The Whitewood used to have an abundance of whitewood trees. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Back in the 1700s, I believe. Oh wow! They lost most of them due to the Dutch elm disease, um, but that used to be the official name of the city. Really? Yeah, the name of the city was that the dude that the park was Whitewood bought all the property and name they named it. Uh, the postmaster home? Adolphus Trumbly, he's the one who changed the name to Whitewood because okay. of the trees. But okay, I forget how it was a brief amount of time that it was. That was the name of the city. That's what's up. Okay. What was significant about Whitewood at the time when they had their name? I, you know, just the trees. It was probably a very beautiful city. I can only imagine because you know I, was, I came before to everybody in the 80s. came and fucked it up. Yeah, like just, white, like it was like certain sections of the city, like Whitewood, Gross Park, and um, Gross Point, and uh, Indian Village. Those are like the three most prosperous spots. Like, yeah, I remember yeah, even when they were Highland Park, they were. Oh very yes, rich it was like point. a suburb within mm-hmm. the city. Right. Mm-hmm. This, I mean, it, it kind of still is. It's like it's on. Yeah, I'm about to say it still it's, is. There's parts of where the, the houses are still big and beautiful and yeah, well kept. Yeah, badass houses in Highland yeah. Park. I'm actually about to invest in some property in Highland Park this year. How's the time? That's what's up. Yeah, <laughs> what's up. definitely. Shit. Yeah, but um, yeah. So for the Randys get to it after you had uh left after you had left Randy. after you left art school. Oh my. 
and you decide to uh, wave. hone and dedicate your craft to uh, filmmaking and stuff, you also dabbled in music, correct? Because there was a, there was one point where your musical pursuits and your your film pursuits had intersected, right? Actually, um, I've been doing music since before film, man. My I film I record my first mixtape when oh, I was shit. sixteen. Okay, with okay. Dre. Well, is, is it uh is it somewhere out there on the internet that yes, our listeners it, can it's on is it hot Pip? fire is it fire oh, it's on, it's on hey Pip. man that's a, this is back when Weezy was dropping the mixtape so are you sounding like Weezy or yeah punchline right because I, I, cause I, I knew a lot of people that came out during that time yes. and they were all kind of sounding like Weezy at that time. <laughs> they all sounded just like Weezy. bars on, on top, top of bars bars, bars on bars on bars like maybe. twenty tracks of mixtape and we dropped tracks. Them, we dropped them annually. Okay. Like I dropped about four mixtapes before I graduated. Damn. Okay, damn. Okay. No, I Hard dropped three mixtapes before I graduated. That's what's I remember, up. I remember. I remember. Yeah, we're gonna have to listen to some of like that. Like the trio yeah. was you, Dre, and Seidel. Now up? then, yes. After we graduated, we added a guy named Seidel to the group, and Seidel was hard as fuck. But you know, there was a dynamic shift. Which uh, he was trash. Was he no, no, he was. He was, he was cold. He was cold. Okay. He was cold. Cause just, most time when people be like that, they be like, oh, this, he was kind of trash. No, nah, bro, it's just like him and, and and Dre. They changed the sound of the group. Okay. To something more that like I wasn't leaning towards. Got uh, you. Was it some stars in the moon type shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knew it. Yeah. Was it pyramid talk? It yeah. Was, like, hit, yo, hit, yo, hit you with yo. that J Electronica. No. Don't bring your white wife. <laughs> Do not bring your white wife. No, bro, they went. Don't bring no. your white wife. <laughs> no, it wasn't. All right, Umar. <laughs> don't bring her, dog. It wasn't none of that, bro. Okay. No, I don't have no white wife. All right, all right, it Umar. Was, it was. Uh, <laughs> they wanted to sound like Young Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh it went that way. Oh, okay, they were okay. coke, coke in the shower. Yeah, they okay. was doing the, you know, that was Jeezy tenure. That was the snowman. Era. I wasn't doing that. that was too, right, it was 05. I'm gonna take your bitch yes. ass back to 05. Hey, and it was in 05 that I dropped the <laughs> diss track. Oh, yeah. Uh, to him? To your boy? Yeah. You, oh, they you dissed the him? The diss track hey, on your own they members? They dropped two of me. Yeah, it was a bad oh, wow. It was a bad wow. break. Jesus. Wow. 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 I, I need nigga. to hear this. Yeah. I need to hear this. You yeah. said it's on that Piff? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna That's check the, the links out. That's wild. I remember, I remember, like, well, I think the. I was talking to Ahmad, rest in peace to Ahmad. Hey man, rest in peace. Rest I was peace. talking to Ahmad, talking about him earlier. and this nigga, and it was, it was, it had to be 05 or 06, and like and listening to him talk about D4L was the funniest <laughs> and saddest <laughs> shit of all time. Nigga and, I, and I was like, you know what, dog? I think I'm done, dog. He's like, you should have been done, nigga. You done with music? They, yeah. they no, I was just music. done. I was just done with rap, nigga. I, I fell right back in the rock, hard as fuck. I don't know. Man. I, Ahmad introduced me to the like that southern, you know, snap, snap music shit. shit. Like I would have never listened to it because I was at that time. My, my I was real into local. Mighty was still Mighty. I was just like, man, I, that was ain't Blade or that because <laughs> those years, those you were the years saying? that um before those was the years before him, a, him and Jimmy before Benzo. had hardcore dedicated their shit to uh getting out of Wayne because it was them two getting out of Wayne that pretty much lit the fire under everybody else's ass to get the fuck up out to of get Wayne. The fuck up 2005 was the end of a lot of niggas like love for ma- rap music. It was yeah, the like end it was of like the of, early. 2000s like the clown uh, shit was the, was the, at its peak South i feel like started them big ass shirts <laughs> big ass shirts almost took, yeah. fucking shoulder lean almost killed me dog <laughs> like the summer of shoulder lean i, I was gonna, almost i'm done. not gonna front i i was almost i was in done. the club i did a shoulder lean i was almost twice. done I, I can't even front you i did it a couple times you know what i don't think i don't even do think not bring your white t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> do not bring your white t-shirt do not bring your tall tea white I mean, t-shirt. I went, I went through that weird phase. I mean, I had I had the tall tea. I now had listen, the tall tea. I got a pair of Jordan. You ain't tall enough. To have I got a pair of Jordan. Don't matter, dog. And I, I just wore them uh, the other day. And I bought these back in like 2001 or two. Uh, it was the year he signed with the Why Wizards. are they too big? <laughs> Like, well, you, you had a pair of what? Jordan 11. Wow. They were just extra, yeah, extra large. Big for no fucking so reason. Had a big just shirt. That's big shoes. Just All my clothes had to be big. Of course. I, Everything. I wear 12. But you just had to get it a little. You had to get a little bigger. I was I was extra. I, I, remember, I used to get my shit. And I remember get it asking you about this in the middle shit. of the t shirt. I remember shit. asking you about this. I was, I was like, this was the last pair that they had, and I wanted them. I was like, why did you buy them so big? 
<laughs> that was a ridiculous <laughs> fucking. The time. Air Force. It, I, it was, was something about the Air Force One matching your like do rag back then. <laughs> like, white do rag, white forces. Dog. Uh, oh, it's something about the headband. Yeah, the headband. The headband. The headband. The headband. I was, never wore the fucking the, uh it was the uh, headband band -aid. Band -aid. Band -aid. I Nelly never wore that shit. Hey, who is the master of this look though? I vote oh. Memph Bleak. Memph? I would say Nelly. Soldier Boy. Memph started it. Memph did start it. Soulja I feel like Boy, but I felt to another level. I feel like Nelly just popularized it. Like you look at that, like that Nellyville shit. I mean, yeah. Give me two pair. Man. Give me two pair. Big boy. And he I ruined Air Force One. I did, he? did he? I think he brought it. I think he brought it back. Arguably, he probably did. I, I think could, niggas. I the only thing that ruined Air Force One is the niggas caught on to that whole creasing issue with them motherfuckers. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're not. They're, they're not made good. But who oh, started? I want to know who yeah. started the whole Black Air Force One. So I had to research <laughs> this because <laughs> niggas I'm that's trying to figure robbers? out where did that come from. Niggas that rob people. I remember Somebody that's where it came from. But I want to know what rapper started that. I remember and being, niggas that follow niggas. I, I say Gucci Man, honestly. Yeah, but, I remember being on the bus. Was Gucci Man? wearing black? Was Gucci yeah, that song in my black tee. Yeah, and he had black forces. That was I was literally about to brand it up. Okay. So I remember being on the bus coming from Wayne State, and I never caught the Grand River bus, but uh -huh. it was like literally catch the shit to Capitol Park, and I could take the Grand River all the way home. Right. It was like an hour and 20 minute ride, but fuck it. This is better to catch. Everybody's bus. had that one right. bus Especially you could just in take. the winter. Exactly. And <laughs> I remember being on the bus, and I, at this time, I didn't been out of high school for like two years. And like being out of high school for two years, you might as well have been out of high school for 20 years. Right. So much Fact. shit changed. <laughs> I'm totally lost on the lingo. I don't know what number Jordans this niggas is on. Right. That's how I know that I'm like an old nigga now to the young niggas. Right. And I remember seeing so many kids on the bus with them fucking black. And pink Air Force Ones, nigga. Pink. Boys That's and Cameron. Cameron era. Yeah. Yeah. See, 2004 to 2006 ish was like the cross between like the Dipset shit and the Jeezy shit. That's so true. they yeah. spilled over. Into I actually like the Dipset. Uh, Niggas was wearing girl shoes, era. bro, because yes, so many of the boy shoes they got bought up. I remember this one little nigga was like grinding his feet on the bus, like the shit was uncomfortable. Cause his big ass foot was like <laughs> and a, and scrunched up shoe. in this girl's shoe, dog. I'm but like, they also like the girls' colors better than the boys' colors. So and I then know. too, like the they be you can go, they be more in stock. Like, yeah, they, they'll be they'll go and get. Can them. I get a size sixteen in women's? Yeah, like I mean, how many women gonna have that? Shit, you know what I'm saying? On Woodward. I mean, long time ago when I used to wear the Foot Locker, I, niggas was telling me about that. <laughs> Like I was telling them like that. <laughs> we gonna have to have a Woodward segment for villain. Oh no, we gonna need more Lysol and motherfucking <laughs> more hand and sand time. Let's go get a sponsorship. So like around that time, where like the only reason why I say like where the music and the and the um film stuff had intersected was because the Wheezy Chronicles had dropped around then. You ever shot a music video? You shot have, a bunch of music have videos. I ever shot a music video? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's th this is around the time where I put him and uh Lil Will in touch because Lil okay, Will, okay. Lil yeah. Will was Dirty. uh Dirty. was getting in the film stuff. Is oh, there okay. is there a, like a like a like your best like if you could say like oh this was the one like your best video? Well, my first music video was um Eating Good with Big Shan. And, okay. Um, Big Sean was in it and. Mm. Um, this must have been early Big Sean. Like uh, he's one of the people that helped put Big Sean on the map in the city. That's what's up. Oh wow, that's a huge uh, that's accomplishment. accomplishment right. Right. I was his videographer for a minute. Oh, you should have led with that's that. <laughs> 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 you should have led with that. I mean, that's that's what's up though. So I'm how about long? To spray your ass. Yeah, just spray me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. But um, I shot a lot of music videos. Okay. A whole lot. If you could put a number, how many? I mean, how many would you say? Like, I don't know, well, not, maybe like 20 something. I still, that's still okay. a big catalog. Yeah, yeah, that's a big catalog. Yeah. Um, shout out to Young Fool. Yeah. He's one of the artists that I shoot a lot of music videos with. Um, and I worked with a lot of people. I actually shot a video with one of your former guests, um, Chrissy the Butcher. Oh, okay. yeah. How was that? That's why I had uh -oh. asked her, like, yeah. uh, that's why I asked was, her when um, she was like, hell no, I don't know that. It's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fuck I, is that? I, I he was trying hurt. to get on. No, I was trying to 
trying to get that on that tattoo. <laughs> oh, you want a tattoo? Okay. Because right. I remember, like, around the time, like, him and my Try boy Sess had worked at, uh, like, I knew, yeah, like, I knew Sess too. like okay. four niggas that worked at Gallery Tattoo. That's why I asked her. She was like, seven miles. I was like, go ahead and say the place. The reason we right. say the tattoo, I know her through us through the reality series at Gallery Tattoo on Seven Mile. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, it's like a Detroit. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as black ink crew. Black as ink cool. and is that. Oh, okay. Okay. It's real focused it's on tattoos. Well, it's not set up artwork. fake reality TV. <laughs> no, it's not set up it's fake. Okay, if anything yeah, does gotcha. happen outside of tattooing, it's natural. Right. Gotcha. But, it's not forced. Yes. Um, so I do web series. I do music videos. Okay. I do oh. short films. Um, Pretty much, you know, I'm actually thinking about going into television. What really? Bad idea, what, what, man. what makes you want to go into television? And would it be money, 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 money? <laughs> <laughs> would it be? Would it be like digital television, like online television? Are you trying to get along like like? Well, that tele- it's all. It's not even separate anymore, man. It's all the same shit, bro. It was NBC online, Actually, not now. NBC on TV. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? It's just how you want to watch it. So I just Good point. I just want the entertainment to come from like the same. I have a multimedia entertainment company, mm-hmm. and that's 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 what's up. You that's what you want to shoot for. You know, what I'm saying if you want to scale it, do up. everything. Yeah, just do everything, man. Shit. Yeah, then, you know, don't limit about, yourself. Don't get, about get that bag, King. Topping it off with a master's and maybe business or something okay. At, okay. at an Ivy League. Okay, Ivy. Okay, so especially if you can get the chicken or the resource for somebody to foot the bill. Now, how am I gonna pay for that? I don't like know. I say, I, I, get my, connected. My get, bachelor's is paid for. That's what's up. That's a step. Yeah. Get connected. That is a somebody. Step. Somebody will foot the bill for your shit. Yeah. yeah. You All mean, these yeah. niggas with student loans and shit. I mean, you got the the right names behind you. You can get far. Right. I want to say. I want to say something. You, you brought the student loan shit. So everybody that's out here. <laughs> Everybody that's out here clamoring and caping and making noise for uh, the state Democrats or the House Democrats that have proposed this bill for uh, student loan forgiveness. Uh, first of all, first of all, sincerely from the bottom of my heart as somebody with it's um, a joke. considerable amount of student debt. Fuck you, niggas, nigga. Whoa. The fuck is $10,000 going to do, dog? You <laughs> ho-ass niggas. <laughs> You know, how the fuck you gonna come with that when it's been like four motherfucking candidates talking about forgive all of this shit you pussy ass niggas y'all coming late off of y'all coming late off of Trump appropriating Andrew Yang's hey, but I can't even hey, call it universal basic hey, income hey, shit. Hey, you gotta steal a little bit of Yang, a little bit of Bernie, just a little, little bit, bit of, in there. A little and bit maybe you lose a little bit of Yang, a little bit of Yang, fifty percent. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, hiya. Y'all niggas right. some hoes, and once again, you ho ass niggas prove why nobody in no fucking type of dire straits should ever support the Democratic Party. But Whoa. continue doing it. <laughs> okay, so the soapbox <laughs> of his heart, that was from his gut, uh, wasn't it? That was personal. personal. Yeah, that was I'm, very I'm, personal. I actually got some. I got some shit to get off my chest. Uh-oh, later. Let's, oh, oh shit, I thought you were about to let it loose. No, uh, not yet. We got a whole segment of that coming okay. up. <laughs> We gonna let our guests finish. Let, 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 let our guests cook. cook man. Let them cook. What would you say your problem is? Say. The launch party for History of Art Mixtape. It was funny because. Yeah, that it was, was my mixtape. It was 11, 11, yes. 11. Okay, well, yeah, I dropped another mixtape. Fire, this fire. This is like a complete solo mm-hmm. mixtape, like five years after the, the prior incident. And, um, yeah, it was a very passionate project. Okay. Was this before or after you went to Texas? Damn. It was, Shout out to Texas. Yes. It was before. Man, I love Texas. Yeah, it was literally before I moved to Texas. Okay. And uh, I, what, what part of I Texas? I moved to Austin. Okay, okay. You know, I, I did some, ain't that bad. <laughs> every time I do it. Ain't Dallas. Yeah, yeah. It's not clean. Yeah, it ain't clean. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they, they got South by Texas Southwest. And niggas. Yes, and I actually participated in two South by Southwest events. Nice. What's your take on best, that? Some of the best times of my whole life. Really? Really? Just got canceled, I get mi- everybody yes. that talks about it, they give me mixed reviews about South by Southwest. What man? First of all, they probably didn't have the 
past that you need to actually enjoy that's what it, it. was because like I, I heard like i don't know some people be like oh man you know it's just too like it's a bunch of people that's just it is just kind of don't know where they're going with, with stuff and the, yeah. the advertisement is a little weird it and is. it's kind of confusing so, yeah you got to study your schedule you uh-huh. got to pick and then and they got this system where you got to pick one or the other type or what you the know fuck? you got to get like a music pass or a film pass or a pass. yeah like i the, yeah. the, the, let me go to everything no nah, yeah exactly. somebody nah. i was talking about they were like yeah it's just confusing all. you know the bad situation confusion and now I, I was i was a volunteer so I okay. got the platinum badge. Oh, you had access to everything. Oh, yeah, 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 you were good. Also being, well, he was an artist. The listen, guy also I was being to. a volunteer. Been platinum. Listen, man. Volunteer. I have initial contact with the celebrities. You know what I'm saying? So I, you I already. Usher, I usher Snoop into Charles Gambino's show. Oh, right, so you okay? Well, you, know you, you, you obviously he was there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't was, think he had those type of connections. No, bro. Like, I mean, <laughs> all, the, all the celebrities. Right, right, right. So you had a yeah, you had a very great experience. I loved it, man. That's what's up. But, uh, how long? You said how many times you were now? I went to South by Southwest in two thousand and was it twelve and thirteen, or was it thirteen and fourteen? Twelve was, was probably twelve and thirteen. What was it? I was two thousand twelve is probably lit. Man, I met Seth Rogen. How is Seth? He's gay, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even feeling sad. We use that clip. We <laughs> use that bro. clip. I mean, hey. Oh got- no, Seth. Hey, hey Seth. Uh, hey Seth. Hey girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting you to say that. I was not ready for. I was not expecting. Like, what type? Like how gay? Like wait a minute. <laughs> let, 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 let him. Let him. Let him breathe on that one. Let's gay, laugh, man. Ex, ex, explain, yeah. Explain that. Explain that's a why. big. That's big. That's big news. <laughs> Listen, wow. Uh, 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 what you call a blogger? She told me that I should follow up on this. But um, <laughs> so basically, he's at. We're at the premiere for the the original film Neighbors. Was that okay? Efron Neighbors yeah. coming out. Yeah, Zach Efron's there. All of the, all the whole. I would think he's super bro. gay. <clears throat> Zach Efron. You know, the film had a lot of gay jokes. They just their thing, man. Right, but, right, right. You know, it was white humor. So I'm yeah, not, after the film, I'm not done, gay. I'm high. <laughs> That's I probably say, what he said. Is, like, in a room full of people, I'm like. Seth, man, your films are funny, bro. You're like probably you probably make the funniest films of our generation right Facts. now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, this was like just after Pineapple Express. I'm like, oh, so he's coming off a huge success. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. and uh, Neighbors was nothing short of spectacular. I was like, God damn, man. So yeah, I was starstruck, and uh, he was like. Oh, wow, that's awesome, man. <laughs> I'm totally going to fuck you, man. I was oh, wait a minute. What? You can find the clip yeah, online, my um, nigga. He's not lying, what? bro. I was only going to fuck this guy, and it's over. What? <laughs> Seth Rogen. <boy>. Seth Rogen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seth. Oh, oh, no, bullshit, Seth. Bro. Hey, Seth. Hey, Seth. Hey, girl. He had a fetish for the, for the BBC. So what? Bro, what's the context? He just ran no up on you and said, ran up. Did he? He didn't touch you or nothing. It just was. No, he, man. You just said it. No. You could have me too, though. You could have. You could have had a bag right now. You could have had a Pineapple Express bag. Everybody laughed. Except you. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the only black person there? <laughs> Except for the black guy who was in the movie. What's his name? The guy who had the TV show. Craig right? Oh, Craig. Craig Robinson. I think they no, fucked him. So it was all Robinson. white people Jesus. and you and Craig I, I Robinson. Think, I think Craig Robinson gay. No. How do we go down this I'm just saying. I, I just think he's gay. Yeah. Because they put themselves. Because afro. Man. I mean, because of his afro. He he's <laughs> he's around. He's look. L.A. niggas is sleep with each other. So that's my Woo! that's wrong. <laughs> Shout out to my L.A. crowd. I'm I mean, saying. L.A. fans. Now uh, I do want to ask you. Besides Texas, you spent some time out in Cali. I right? sure did. He's what is so? I just <laughs> I just I guess, I just nice got, segue. I just got two. I'm just saying. I, I just got two <laughs> questions. I for thought you. he was gay. Because it's gonna lead back in the macho <laughs> question. <laughs> He thought he was gay. I thought I'm not. I'm just being honest. Like when I first seen Craig Robinson uh, and some of his earlier stuff, no, I was like, I recall him playing a gay role. I, yeah, I'm like, I, I think, think he's gay. Right they gonna come for you tonight. They they, they gonna get you, Nick. <laughs> Craig Robinson is yeah. deep. I'm for the shit tonight. <laughs> right. Coronavirus uh, all out there. I'm ready. To die, everybody man. don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck no more. So, so turned up. is it Cali? Is it Cali nine? Is it Cali six or Detroit nine? Yes or no? Ah, uh, oh, Cali got a different scale, bro. Ah! Nah. Cali, 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 Cali the go, Highland Park. They go up to fifteen. I'm, I'm trying to dude. tell you. You're talking about women, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was just saying. I'm just making sure we want to talk they about it. What are we doing? Are we doing? A bu- no, no. A, bu- a friend of mine that's out in Cali. <laughs> a friend of mine. 
what is happening? A friend of mine out in Cali has a saying. Cali that got in the building. When you scoping from afar, <laughs> he pretty much says, and you can confirm this, yes or no, if you have to guess, yes. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. If you yeah. wear too much makeup, I automatically assume oh, that you're a man. Yeah. No, listen, that's Damn. pretty much my my theory on I can't oh, tell. That's a life philosophy. I don't know if I, I don't know. If you have to ask, I don't think I, I don't that's think enough. I'll go that far. Yeah, I'll go that far. I'm with you on that. If I got to ask you, I'm yeah. probably need to leave. Right. Yeah. Why are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> what are you? I'm just making that means sure. There's a 50 50 chance, and I'm not really Yeah, I don't even yeah. like. <laughs> Are those steaks too? You know what I'm throwing? <laughs> steaks are way too napkin. high. Napkin. Hey. Ah! <laughs> napkin guy. That's the first on-camera napkin, bro. This is official. A, yeah, a coronavirus show. out here. You got a napkin there. Official, official napkin. Napkin guy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I didn't expect that from Seth, though. That threw me off. Yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised. Him and James Franco, they got a they interesting got a uh, relationship. Yeah. One that I wouldn't have with my closest James homies. Franco's younger brother was there, too. What's his name again? Something Franco. Yeah. Uh, Franco. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> Something Franco was there. Not the, Franco. Not the not rich one. <laughs> I mean, he might have some chicken, dog. He might. Yeah. But it ain't Franco chicken. I mean, he was. It is Franco chicken. It ain't James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, was, that was that was great. Um, and, and so is uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. I've I've had some. Some fifteens, some fifteens. You had, you had some out there. I had about a couple fifteens. I mean, you were around a bunch of celebrities. I mean, you you bound to run into. You got to get some yeah. scavenger leftovers. Listen, like man. the trickle down is what my homeboy right. would call it. You don't find them in Detroit. I couldn't fuck Wesley Snipes. So. Why, don't, why don't you find them hey. in Detroit? Uh-oh. Because I mean, if oh, you, shit. Be careful. Listen, yeah. oh, you gotta live here. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> or you answer that. See, I, that's your man. We turned up a little bit. He so said, "Before you answer man that, set you calm, up, bro. Calm down. All right. Yeah, drink some water. And then, yeah, yeah. Woo. Go ahead. While, while he's drinking some water, don't take a look at something. Don't, Doctor Umar. Do not bring your wife. Do wife. not bring your wife. I do. Do not bring your Detroit Six. Shout out to everybody. Do not bring your Detroit Six. Shout out to everybody that's still. I never said that ahead. there wasn't a 15 in Detroit. Or did I? It just ain't a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, you just said Cali had a if, different scale. That's all. If, if 15 <laughs> is in Detroit, man, they going to make her like cash Dow. I disagree ah, with you. Okay. I'm, I'm not disagree saying, okay. but I am not saying cash Dow is a. You, oh, engineer! You seen some uh, no. some fifteens running it's, around? It's some not wild even, Pokemon. It's not even that. It's that most most people you meet in LA not really from there. And it's probably gonna come from mm. a place like here. So yeah. you, like a central, would you say, like yeah. the baddest would you chick say from a lot Detroit. Of it also to, that's how I feel like in weather, Vegas. So the yeah. sexier clothes, shit like that. I L- mean, it's, L- the, it's the competition. I'd imagine, like everybody there, is, everybody's in shape. Everybody's everybody got surgery. I, I, but what I kind of, I kind of see where he's coming. Think that plays into the it? mindset down there is totally different. You know, Let what I'm saying? You, okay, yeah, I saw uh, a young lady, <clears throat> like real life Pocahontas. She was black, like how we would just see a beautiful Detroit ten. Right. Mm-hmm. She had this West hair. Side chick way down her back and she had that that's that cali tan like in those shorts they don't you know yeah. you can dress different yeah i mean they're by the beach yeah she was just she probably runs every morning it was this vibe like yeah it was this vibe bro and that brought it up yeah. to probably like a freaking 13. yeah i mean i've mm. i've when i every time i've been it. to la there's some type of look <laughs> that that it's totally different than here so we we quantified this scale when we was younger about like the bitches that fell off the truck, like bitches that Jesus. they make, bitches that they make in a lab, yeah, and they and they put them in capsules and they be driving, and yeah. every now and then one, one of them fall, one off. them fall off the truck. Like, how do you, how do you quantify like a plus, like a beyond ten? Like, what's the difference aesthetically between like an eleven and a fourteen? And why is a 14 not a 15? Because there are certain things that you can do in Cali that you can't do here. Yeah, like the I like I always stress you. the environment. Yeah. Like look at the environment. They got more you're, you're exposed to Tan. the sun. Yeah, you're by the beach. Which makes you healthy. The glow, food hair. the food is, yeah, is different. Better, food, better options. Weather, I mean, I, I take all that. You mean stuff. bitches Happiness, out there? Happy. Bitches ain't out there yeah. eating uh <laughs> Coney Wing Ding chili fried there and smoking black and miles <laughs> and sipping gallons of Patron. Yeah. Even a strip hey, club is Anything is possible with some of them hoes. You know what I'm saying? I just I just know it's a bit it's a huge quality gap 
like when when you talking about like the resources that are there and uh, even like personality and all that type of shit like i don't know would you be Happy? with a chick from i don't know i'm gonna say this too that, that they're not is. as vicious the personality adds a, a point too because <laughs> Like mm-hmm. a happy mm-hmm. woman, that's different than just like a woman that's just like upset because she's at work. What that nigga Fabulous yeah. say? Hating hoes ain't happy, and happy hoes ain't hating. Facts. Facts. Yeah, I don't know. I just think some Those. of the like the women here agendas be different. Like you be mm-hmm. like some of them, like, some of them cool, mm-hmm. and then some of them be like, oh, I'm on a straight money agenda. Yeah. Like it's like okay, I gotta go through whatever I gotta go through. To get this bag, to change my helmet. Did you see the video I Poverty shared? Mind. Did you Poverty see the video mindset. I shared earlier today? You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, did you drink water this morning? Can you help me survive? Yeah, did you see the video I shared earlier today about Can you the bitch cash saying at me? that? I can't, I can't fuck with no nine to five nigga. Yeah, I saw that and shit. the and the guy's like, well, what if he work at a bank? I mean, if he work at a bank, I may, at as, a bank. Well, I may as well get with a nigga that's just scamming. Just scamming. I'm, I he work at a bank, kinda. He kinda, he kinda <laughs> smart. <laughs> Just send the cash to my fans only. Yeah, man. Uh, you link on the link in the bio ass hoes. Oh my god. Woo! I don't know. Link in the bio ass hoes. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna go that. too I ain't gonna go too much in my bag, but I'm just saying, man, like the mentality. <laughs> before you got a bag. Before you reach into that bag, let I could me take go a, in that bag. That's a whole nother topic. Let me take a look at some of these comments. 40 ball ass hoes. Shout out to shout out to Mary 40 Ann. ball arenas. I yeah, definitely man. feel you on having to return to work. Please be safe because I know you're around all the motherfuckers yeah. over at the CSL. Uh, y'all didn't have a hey, man, I would appreciate everybody. No, we didn't have a big room in, tonight, the Pete. That, the stripper show was definitely going on. I appreciate in there. y'all, man. Hope everybody's safe out <laughs> Why there. Why you had to say all that? Because man. that's my man. My <laughs> man's looked out for us for the last two weeks. We had, I would actually want to sit in on oh, let the haddish cleave through around and shout out to Brittany. We appreciate you, though. Shout out to Brittany. Sebastian in there. <laughs> but yeah, man. It is mostly boom, boomers pan, panicking Zach because they're the most affected by it. Yeah, it makes sense. The Grand River bus with the crazy man yelling. Are you talking about the crazy man from Wyoming or the crazy man from Oakland? That looks like the nigga from Wyoming. Man, it's, <laughs> it's like all them niggas exist in Detroit. <laughs> It's always oh, some crazy, crazy nigga. Yeah. I used to hate the OJ did do it. Or, D- no, he D- didn't. I ain't gonna lie though. D dot like changed. OJ also niggas. got away oh, with yeah. it. Like I feel like if you can survive D dot and just all his horror, I mean, you could be you be a right. recession. You can survive two. anywhere. The D-Dot's recession part two is definitely coming. Yeah. I mean, it makes for good humor. Part too, two. Shit. I thought this was like the a on the so- <laughs> on the shoulder yeah. lean. The uh, what you call them? Crash stock market. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Niggas, four hundred one k's is biting the dust. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of yeah. fifty year old white men jumping out of windows. Why boomers. did I just make a joke about that? Uh, know, there's a, there's a comment that we can't hear. Come fight. That's why should they call have them been. Boomers. Hold they on, y'all. We, jumped out of, hold on, y'all. We got a comment here. Should have been dumb and, sh- and getting yourself into so much debt. I mean, that's true, but. If you ain't gonna talk that shit to the auto manufacturers that ran up a check and then ran out of the fucking country, or you ain't gonna say that shit to the banks that lent all those people those fucking subprime mortgage loan houses. I mean, if they got forgiven, I don't see why students who got overcharged 12 times the rate of people that went to college, not even five years before them, yep. got charged. I need I mean, to bail out. Not only, not only was right. the price of college 12 times the price of their parents, they were 20 and 30% interest rates on a fucking education. That's ridiculous. Wasn't a, 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 a Harvard education in 65 and in the 60s period around two grand for a whole year? Two grand for a whole year, including room so, and board and the meal plan. Nigga, is any of these schools, not the shit on the school I got my degree from, but is Wayne State better than Harvard has ever been no, at anything? No, no. So why the fuck am I paying what I'm paying for? That's how people used to be able to work themselves through college. Like, that's yeah. impossible. It's impossible now. now. Yeah. yeah. You don't make that shit. Like, nigga, look, I go back to 1960 right now. Cali is on lockdown, Pete. Deal with the racism and still get a better fucking education from Harvard for $2,000. Also, man. a car all, all costs like $2,000. Hey, I mean, ain't shout out, better, shout out, a brand new car. Shout, yeah, out to the hom- shout out to the homie Fuck. Dan, the, the resident SoCal shit poster in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Dan the man. I mean, Dan, Dan I've, I've, spoken, I've spoken to Dan about, you know what I'm saying, the fucked up scale between why people are so fucking happy in SoCal versus motherfucking... 
motherfuckers just be miserable here. Bitches just be having the mean face. Soon I mean, as the, soon as the breeze get cold, bad choices. Me. I mean, villain said it the best. I mean, shit, poverty. Bad life choices, nigga. You know That's why you bad. That's why you mad. You Stop fucking them niggas for conies in uh, Arizona. I okay. so so what I <laughs> love coming for you. Dude. What I love oh, online. What I, I love. What you. I love <laughs> online is when people tell on themselves. Like the chick was like, ladies, don't get caught quarantined with the wrong dude. I read that and these dudes shit. ain't got no bed sheets. <laughs> Who are you hoes letting raw y'all? You know what I'm that's, saying? You getting evidence, rawed by a nigga with no bed sheets. Evi- that's the evidence right there. Hey, you can't even, you, nigga, you listen, fucking dog, can't even make his bed because he ain't got the parts. What happened to standards? Man, standards went out the window. In hey, culture, haven't you know been that? there for a while, dog. With whole culture. Yeah, whole culture. Yeah. When, oh, oh, my God. Hey, it's real, bro. When everybody. It's gotten to the. Man. Wait, are y'all slut shaming? I'm not slut shaming. Woo! They for y'all. Not, not at all, man. Not, not at yes. all. Yes. <laughs> wow. I'm I sorry. respect them queens. I got wow. I got nieces and and little cousins shit I care about. Do I want them sucking okay. 40 random dicks no, he and he said, counting it? He said it anyway. When they get fucking older? He said no. it anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Does anybody, I mean, you, I mean, you anybody got a female they care about? But you can't like, stop the dick. I'm okay though. with you sucking a bunch. You of dicks. can't stop the dick. I can't stop, dicks. stop the dick. But you can't stop. You gonna block them? You gonna no? You gonna put your hands out? Put my hand she gonna suck a dick. You gonna put up the Trump wall for dicks? Look, the dick wall. Don't ti. She gotta be proud about sucking forty of them. Yeah, T.I. got checked. Just because you enjoy hoes, I mean, you got to fucking. I ain't trying to create more hoes. T.I. got checked. T.I. got checked. I ain't carrying shit. T.I. got checked for giving a fuck about his daughter, but we applauded. We all applauded Dwayne Wade. That's fucked up. Look, man. That a bitch. It's the world we live in. LeVar Ball is a horrible. That's the excuse. LeVar Ball is a horrible human being for busting his ass off a word and getting strength alone. He got all three of his sons damn near into the pros. I mean, he should be in the Hall of Fame for that. He he horrible. I think he really should have. He he really should have got more. Lazo actually turned out to be decent. That's some hard ass shit. His other son might actually be okay. Not just one son. That nigga. Multiple stole. kids. That nigga that there. stole ain't gonna never be shit though. He done. Oh, oh. He, 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 the middle he, one. He used up all his his oh, whole that's life. Sad his that whole I don't know life the super meter is gone. Oh, Leangelo. <laughs> life Le- Le- We had to have Trump bail him out of jail. That was it for that. Who you talking about? Le- Leangelo. Oh, the, light, oh. the, the, the youngest. Oh, the middle, middle one. Oh, yeah. What, what he get caught for stealing or something? Stealing in China. Before big. Before big. Rona. Before big Rona had hit. Yeah. That nigga would have been leaving China, getting out of there fast as possible. Most niggas don't make it back from China. You got you got anything you want to um say to the public before we dive into these topics, man? Any advice for any aspiring auteurs and directors? Anything um, as far as chasing and pursuing your dream? You know, um, I'm not gonna advise against taking the independent route because it was in the independent route that I learned to, to you know take a more traditional route, and I I could go on and on about how I conform to societal norms just to uh, play this game. But this is like the life I chose. Uh, so to anybody who wants to follow in my footsteps, it's hard to advise that because you learn from mistakes and you don't want to advise that somebody makes mistakes, even though to you, it may not look like one. You know, um, I was on the set of a Hollywood film when the director asked me what school I went to. And I said, I'm not going to go to school i'm just gonna pop up on youtube right <laughs> he's like yeah you sound stupid you know get away from me kid go to jesus. school <clears throat> i'm at work you know this is on the set of red dawn uh so jesus I was like, yeah. that movie flop <laughs> 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 it sure did i didn't say it but that's the first time I've ever hey nigga you need patrick loud. swayze fuck out of here yeah the rest they of had chris knows. hillsworth was on there yeah yeah, I remember was before that. Before he was, before people gave a fuck about him. I yeah, just, I just remembered that. Before people gave, what they him. shooting at? They were shooting it here, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Yeah. That yeah, shit. I, I, was what, just, I did want to ask you about that, mm-hmm. man. What the fuck did you think about, like when, like, the change in government? They killed. They they removed all incentives for all those people filming yeah. in Michigan. Like there was a small boom in Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like, that. All those people it was came a huge, to Michigan. Was a huge boom. And Transformers back, and shit. Yeah, Transformers, uh uh was it Batman v yeah, Superman? Yeah. All Tyler Perry. Ba- the Tyler Dark Knight. Perry. Tyler Dark Knight film. Sure. Those are Chicago. No, those Chicago. Yeah. yeah. But I wasn't really I mean, you know, I, I wasn't at the beginning 
an initial supporter of that because we were working the lower end jobs on the production sets. Yeah, they yeah. weren't giving us uh, shit. I felt like we were being used. They were just giving you breadcrumbs. And it was before cheap labor. And, cheap labor. And it was before all the gentrification came in. So just the city extras. was just being used as ruin porn. Yeah. So it was whole ass. Every jobs. time Detroit is in a <laughs> film, it's, every time Detroit is in a film, it's in the the scene where it's, the city's being destroyed. Mm, you know downtown, what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, they, it's nothing like uplifting. We're like or, the only city that allows that shit. For uh, yeah, we were Shut Gotham. We were Gotham. We were. And like we want something gritty. Let's just go to Detroit. Yeah. Them niggas will do anything. Yeah, you know, and so, but then as I started to see, like, my college professor oh, yes, at OCC, um, shout out to Dennis. He taught me how to act. Um, he was in the Batman versus Superman film. He was the doctor okay. for uh, Luthor. Uh, for yeah, that's what's Lex up. Luthor, or whatever. Oh. Um, that's yeah. the only doctor in the movie I can think of. I yeah, I was like, that's cool. You, know? <laughs> you, were, you, you had a role in a terrible I, movie yeah but he got his imdb credits and all that and he was like he's not the only one so i was like maybe this is going somewhere right let's just keep it around for now and i wonder if i got IMDb but you saw it so you had the the foresight to be like okay that's kind of it cool, has to but... be like they, we gotta start somewhere right like, you know, we this is not Hollywood. This is Motown, so right. we got to get it how we live. I feel like absolutely. So that, so you think that'll be the way that we could turn it around? Because I mean, way. you think you know, uh, there's other other mediums or platforms you think we should go? Yes, or I, I, Music, believe, I believe you need to become the change that you want to see in the world. Okay. So Shout for out to me, because <clears throat> I would think with this YouTube situation. <laughs> Oh, YouTube is a whole situation. It's a whole situation. But I'm just saying, like, what's your perspective from that? You know, you, oh. you, you were one of the OG content creators on YouTube before they was like paying people. Is that is that you know, is that a lane for Detroit or no? Or no, uh, I want to, I'm just this is my first time ever actually saying this instead of just claiming it. I'm going to ask anybody to challenge this. I believe I'm the first person from the state of Michigan to reach a million views on YouTube. Might Ooh. Oh. And I think I can say that because I don't, I've looked. Really? And this is before, what was the name of that shit that they had, Bevo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah this yeah, was yeah, before yeah. they started, you know, um, paying people for their content. Right. I had, before it was monetized. Yeah, I had, mm, I want to say like five, seven million views way okay. back what, in like what is the name of the What's the name of the video? Um, people can look it up. Well, I used to do a lot of parodies. Okay. So, Crank That Army Boy was a parody of Crank That Soldier Boy. I mm -hmm. foresaw that one. Um, what else I did a parody of? I did Those some Little Wayne parody. Oh, yeah, I did some uh Rich Boy parodies. Okay. Cheese on it. And each one of those went viral and like Yo, Did you do the Video where this nigga was getting interviewed in his fucking apartment. Yes, the Chronicles, was, of, Chronicles of Daniel Smith. Smith. I couldn't find that oh, video. I've been trying to find. Legendary. What's the name of that? What's the name that of it? Was legendary. You talk about what shit was slathered in gravy. Yeah, yes. <laughs> dog. I've been looking for that video for years. Oh, you got to drop some links, looking, man. We got five or six. And then nobody told me about it. I found that video Listen, by just man. searching on YouTube. Wow, it was a, really? For it was basement bro. niggas. Yeah, really. It was a that golden moment. Then I saw that video of Will playing fucking Monopoly and. Singing and nah, I saw that. Life. That was that was a funny moment. <laughs> Glorified the he street. Was up I, up that day, I was like, "What the fuck?" This is going was on? during so a time up. when YouTube <laughs> let you be you. True, absolutely true. This was when the you and YouTube was really Facts. important. Free Google, no ads. This was when you got famous for just doing shit in your basement or in your garage. And being real. And shout being out to original. No, shout know. out to Tay Zonday, nigga. Yeah, yeah. man. Shout out to being, being A lot famous. of people got famous, but it was in a... They weren't chasing clout. In a yeah, cute being way. Like in an trying original, to organic yeah. way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They were trying to do it for money. That these new these newer ones it just seem it's, like they're all man you got each you got bitches money. online licking toilet seats yeah saying, it's, a, it's a chick that that's got a fake I'm living in a fucking trailer thing going on and you saw that too like YouTube artificially boosted her fucking Real you know what I'm saying little cute light skinned chick they just artificially boosted the they fuck all just out of her sound the same room, to me bro. hey guys yeah oh, I hate that hey guys just check in guys Philip DeFranco that's hey you beautiful bastard open it. Hey, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. I turn that shit off as soon as I hear hey guys. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And now 10 years later, Shout YouTube to you. might as well be Comcast because, I mean, when you facts, search facts. the results, all you're getting is Fox, NBC, CNN, you know, like the big multi, the big media conglomerates. And yep. I was done with YouTube's pussy when they fucking said that when they started <laughs> shadow banning conspiracy theory videos. Man. Nigga, what the fuck you think I'm going to YouTube for, nigga? It's not, it's, MSNBC? It's, right, it's not just I'm going for the fucking hey, man. R. P. Not my nigga Alex news. Jones, man. I could watch TV if I want to watch R. P. MSNBC. My nigga Alex Jones, you know what I'm saying? They but need I to come, bring my nigga back, dog. I come to YouTube to watch yeah. the U's, they not never, the They should bring that nigga back. NBC. Yeah, I don't want to watch real news on YouTube. No, I, no, no. I, I was done with real news some hours. When Anderson Cooper, when Anderson Cooper and Wolf Blitzer and Rachel Maddow started showing up in superhero movies, doing the news. I was like, you mean nothing to me now. Anderson Cooper. How do I know this is real? How do I know this is real? You may, exactly. this, this may as well be a clip. Gotta from check the, show up in there, this bro. may as well be a clip from the fucking Avengers with your goofy ass nigga. Nothing that you're saying is relevant. Dog. So, so do you, now that we've known, now that we know YouTube is a joke, like, and they suppress the uh, actual content you know, creators Clear. that's not that's not earning them any revenue through okay. their through their Fake pay. I was and, just I was just about to ask that. They I'm like, slowly but surely, like almost annually, they create a new restriction. Mm -hmm. Like yep. the algorithms, the people, the people that's paying you are the ones that's making the decisions now. They like, oh, your video can't have this. Your video can't, can't even have that. Them fucking um, videos. Um, views don't even matter no more. It's all about the watch time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They they want to kind of kills the creativity. You, yeah, you have to release your videos yeah. so uh, ever so often. They force ad revenue. Yeah. Man, they, they just forced the fuck out of it. So this is like a permanent. This is like a, a a great time for traditional type of like movies and. If I, I would, if they would, if they were doing revenue, especially now, if Look. they were doing revenue, back in like two thousand and six or seven, man, I probably would have been on on. I would. You would have been. I would have banked. You had that pay for that degree. <laughs> out of pocket. I would have banked. But now YouTube is like, man, it's like doing this. It's going to the extent of having to devote like almost full time to yeah, it. No, literally every content creator that I follow That's their job. that got more yeah. than 50,000 subscribers, they literally say that I can't do this part time. Part time. This literally yeah. has become my full time. Because it job. has to be consistent in order for you to get the revenue. Like how many videos do you think? Two or three a day. So but, but you do you think but do you think that is uh a lot of that may be their their cost of living going up and them trying to stay no. comfortable or in California. Is it really just that desperate, do you think? It's both, man. I think I think it's a little bit of both. Because them niggas in California be doing videos. But the cost of living in California is pretty high fucking high. Right? One hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollar poverty rate. Like, can you imagine, Fuck, nigga, nigga, being in fucking, being near Silicon Valley K? and 150K and is the poverty line? But see, broke, nigga. this yeah. is why. That's why all them niggas be living in one house. Yeah, it'd be like six of them. Can yeah, you imagine? In a, in a house this size, they'll charge. Ooh, like 1500 for a room. Oh, that's way back in 08. So, yeah, you're probably right. And it'll be probably like 1500 three, for a studio. three so, people sharing that shit. A lot of those videos I see, uh, I'm not going to put them folks' name in there, but like, you know, like uh, to the max, shit like that. The motherfuckers, you telling me a lot of motherfuckers probably stay in the same. Yeah, place? yeah, my nigga, big job. Oh, yeah, they, they yeah, all. I love bro. that niggas video. They, 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 I mean, don't great. get me wrong, they funny. I just feel like most of them kept that. I mean, I was telling y'all about that earlier. It's like you're making all this content, but you all have to stay with each other, and like the like the budget is so small. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like y'all gotta keep it. cranking this out. You really How think long? the niggas packed in like sardines? Some yes. of them do. Like most I of them. I swear to God, they are. Yes, they got. You ever seen Dorm like, Tainment? Like, like all them small niggas. Small. All them. Oh, yeah, they, they started niggas. in college. Yeah. Though. It's six niggas in one house. They started in college though. So I yeah, but even when they got on, they were still living in one house. Like Supreme Dreams. I think them guys all live in that spot, but they in Atlanta though, right? I mean, it's still like I said that that community. I feel like it'd be a whole bunch of them in a sardine, you know, and they don't make enough money to I go out. And, was it worth it? And I, I determined that it wasn't. That's why. I uh, yeah, it. that's why I. I that's the conclusion Damn. I was kind of getting to. Once I'm like, that is it worth it? Told me that. And once I tried to like, I oh, I could have had an internship uh, for the Pursuit of Happiness, a Will Smith film, mm -hmm. and I couldn't because I didn't have a degree. Right. And the LA just kept kicking my ass about this degree because the competition is just too high tremendous yeah everybody's your competition and they actually do have the edge on you in so many ways that you're like i'm not prepared for this shit yeah. you know i'm not even prepared for the easiest thing out here but that's what that's another reason why he was like saying like can you do it here because because can mm -hmm. detroit or michigan 
be a spot where that can happen because it's not as expensive here. You yeah. get a lot more accomplished here. Yeah, but can you actually blow up here? Like, let's say, like, a take, like, a Ha Ha Davis or mm -hmm. something like that. Like, he made it from here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people from Detroit have to go somewhere else and blow up and then come back. Well, they say success is when preparation meets opportunity. Correct. There's mm. not a lot of opportunity out here yeah. in that field. But yeah. um, if we can bring the opportunities here, then there'll yeah. be more room for success. Yeah. And also the internet is everywhere. So it's, it's right, a different right. yeah. world. Than it was. Somebody got to think is eventually going. Yeah, find it, it, right. it's, it's just right. it the timing young. isn't you know? isn't there yet. I feel. I, I think we need more people to like educate others. Like, let's say if Haha -Ha started like a workshop and be like, "Hey, you want to be a fucking YouTube star or Instagram star? <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all how to do it and what ways to get." You know, yeah, you mean like that, you yeah. mean like that nigga Ty Lopez? Mm. Thank God I got ad blocker. Hey, this, this is my Ferrari in my garage. Hey guys, you books. can do it too, guys. <laughs> just, <laughs> read, just read, my, my webinar. Read my funnel. <laughs> buy my book. That's you'll know. You'll know what to do you'll after you buy my do. book. Like I don't I mean, like, I've I, turned I've turned twenty millionaires. I don't like living over in this the mansion, weekend, bro. Okay. I don't like living in this mansion. I don't like my. I don't like none of this stuff. All I want to do is read books. That's all I do is read books. This guy read 20 books. He's a millionaire tomorrow. You see this, you see this Ferrari, but the bookcase next to the Ferrari is more It's about important. how many books you read. Exactly. These, hey, listen like to the testimonials like that are not me, me but, um, but I, I wrote the script. Broke, broke as fuck. <laughs> Librarians. Fuck out of here. If you want this Lamborghini? Buy these books. Buy, right. buy my book. <laughs> every, buy my program. Yeah. Every, I don't, I don't every think book works. in this book That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know. know. One I, rich librarian, nigga. I think that method for like trying to get people to be educated here in Detroit I don't know. I think it's just gonna take more money. Like you're just gonna have to somebody, somebody with a bag, just gonna have to keep pouring in more money. Shit, Tyler Perry might have just did. Or yeah, I was just about to say Tyler. Or, like somebody got to see see Detroit for, as for an Detroit. investment. Yeah. Like people in Detroit as an investment. Yeah, it's if you pour see more money. If you see the money and the value in these motherfuckers. They, That's they not the first time the I heard that. Yeah. Somebody said Detroit. We need a uh, hero. Somebody we do. Just Detroit need Batman. Just call, yeah, somebody. We need a real uh, Bruce Wayne. Maybe out here piece of niggas. Hey, yeah, hey, some hey, niggas, niggas need ass with. Some niggas, niggas need it. That nigga get here and quit, but like, fuck this shit. These niggas love this <laughs> shit. Yeah. He ain't get to I the east side. I, like, nope. oh, I can't defend. I can't defend the city where nothing. every nigga is the Joker, dog. Every <laughs> nigga, <laughs> like, I can't wait to see this bitch ass nigga. Well, yeah, he be like, look, he be like, he was like, I can understand the laughing gas, but these niggas on these perks. <laughs> perks but yeah, I, I just think that's what it takes. It just take more money, more marketing, more advertising. And, you know, some Bruce Wayne figure come in and just clean it up. I what's mean, that? What's that one nigga that owned the Cavs? Oh Gilbert. yeah, Gilbert. I Gilbert. mean, he could have did true, it. The true, the true, the true ruler of Detroit. I hear that he's uh, sick he could have right did it. Yeah, he is. He's what? He got the he got the Ronas. No, nah, he just sick. He got something. He uh, was sick before the Ronas. All these rich niggas getting sick. Man, that's so let's so let, let's dive, let's, for let's, too dive long. let's dive into some of these topics since we got since we got some time. Has anybody here? And we talked okay. about a few of them, but we about to go in depth. Has anybody here done any doomsday prepping besides the buying of food? You know, what I'm saying Macho said that. Yeah, I mean, I've done a little bit. On I, bought food. I might be but, doing it this week. Yeah, I did it. I gotta I, eat, nigga. I, I mean, I, I got. I got the guns checked. I got the. What are the essentials? What are What are some <laughs> quarantine essentials? I mean, you definitely got to have rations. Like, I feel like that is like number. Like, I feel like rations and toilet I paper. Mean, toilet. The nigga that went about the deep end when he say word rations. Water. He like, didn't say food. He said rations. He said rations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I like the word ration because these niggas is eating they doomsday food. Truly, yeah. truly, niggas posting eating a whole bag. That's what I'm like. They just waking up in the middle of the night. I, 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 I think ain't doomsday it's food, nigga. I think it's better if you just go get rations because you're not impulsed to eat that right away. Yeah. So Some it's like shit that you gotta actually open a big up. Big ass bag of rice. Right. Mm -hmm. You're not about to just peel open a big ass bag of rice and be like, yeah. all right, I'm you gonna take some time to think about that before yeah. you know what I'm saying. I might need this shit. I might actually need this. So let me hold off on eating that. That's why I said rations would be where I would start and then work scale my way up to like most people they'd be like, Oh, I need to go get gun on. I mean, like, I the bullets one, gonna run out then. What? I saw one nigga That's post true. a picture nigga with a closet full of guns. Like it was like, nigga, he, the, the picture said <laughs> that, yeah, I don't nigga have to take worry about going to get what? toilet paper. He posted a picture Brady of a Jesus. closet full of guns. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I started, like I said, it's food, 
check water perishables then go up you know then go up to the the heavy i thought about getting the water but like like when it gets down to it, if you ain't already got your water, you're going to be a slow vic for the targets, especially now that the police have said that we ain't going out to assist. Also, breaking news, the entire, the entire state of California is on lockdown. Right now. Yep. Really? The whole state. Whole Damn. state. Stay your ass at home. Mean? Stay your they ass can't at leave. home. So, yeah. so, yeah. so they got a curfew? Curfew? Is niggas really following that? Like, I feel like... You ain't got with, a choice after I a while. I feel like if, you, like if you pose a curfew here, like, niggas still going to be outside. Unless you got, unless you got, you know, armored car. I mean, armored, you know, tanks. It won't be the that. first time tanks to roll down Claremont, my nigga. Pretty much. That's why I think it's going. The level it's going to have to take to get niggas staying home, because niggas is reckless. Like I was reading that whole, you know, they was partying down there in spring break. I was Florida, them, Florida, goofy ass niggas. Goofy I hope y'all niggas. all stuck down there. I I saved hey. up for three months. No Corona is gonna stop me from partying, Woo! bro. Woo! Them thirty dollar flights. That nigga. STD is on me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the S and the T, but you got to pay for the D. This right, monster, look. this monster energy drink gonna let me live forever, bro. Okay. <laughs> forever. forever. This pump until I die. Right. But look, <laughs> nuke them niggas. Though. <laughs> nuke them. Nuke thirty dollar flights. If niggas nuke, can't stop. If you nuke Florida, you run the risk of getting mutant Floridians, nigga. <laughs> Oh, you don't want me Floridian. Florida man is already bad enough. I don't want to see Florida X man, man, nigga. What'd you call it? Croc? The croc? That's too much, nigga. That's too much. <laughs> I threw a rock at him. That nigga's the man, dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That dumb nigga is the man. <laughs> I don't, like I said, I was just re- listening to all this, like, and then uh, one in another, like, gathering, like, uh, it's like gay pride or something like that. That ain't happened what? yet. Like I think was pride it, may be canceled this pride, year. Pride was it pride? I don't know. I don't know that. I might get my sources. San Francisco. Wrong. It was San Francisco. That won't be the first virus but to I stop mean, the gays. Oh God! But San Francisco <laughs> is in San Francisco is in Cali, so it's just locked down in general. Okay. That San Francisco was actually the shit. The shit. The shit filled <laughs> streets. I wasn't gonna say. What are you trying? <laughs> Y'all started. The shit filled streets. <laughs> Of syringe on the ground. San Francisco was the first place in Cali quarantine. Okay. Of course. Okay. Oddly enough, that's also the place with the hundred and fifty thousand dollar poverty limit. Jesus. Y'all remember Escape from LA, nigga? Yeah. I was just thinking. Great movie. Boom, they got too much. Look, rich niggas don't want to catch that shit. Boom, doom, 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 I think rich niggas ready to die. Like, cause they didn't did everything. Wow, they they like, trying to preserve them. So are you ever hung around awesome. a bunch of rich niggas? No, like, you no. Like, they only act like that because they think them they niggas can't fearless. Die. Yeah, they think they can't die. They think money's gonna I mean, protect them. Niggas is getting hungry. Jobs are closing. Everybody can't work from home. Some niggas have just been sent home. Yeah, my job closed. Yeah, that's just wild. What's, what's your what's your plans? Like, I mean. The I government mean, is talking about enacting shit to give niggas relief, and you know, I mean, I was, just, I mean, rent. have your rent payments on deck because your landlord is going to expect yeah. some shit on the first. They ain't trying to hear I that. Might mask up, shit. You never know, shit. <laughs> oh, you it might go pull you side. It might, shit. <laughs> Once <laughs> these checks run side. out, shit, you don't know what's going to happen. Get them two bands and, and, and put it shit, out. Don't bust my guns, to live. Put it, And they didn't cancel yeah. your job, and you, you might get it at guns? the gas station. Some shit you never know. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, on, on a on a love, on pink, a serious note, I mean, rag, macho. I mean, on a serious note, like I mean, I got hustles in place. Like you know, I say I still do. I got an online store for Amazon and all that stuff, and I you know graphic design, mm-hmm. and so I got other hustles to get into. But selling it's weed. I mean, if, selling. Weed. I used to deliver <laughs> in one life. That's a real job now. Hey, it imagine be. back then, it, it's crazy. It's imagine, telling, too right now. imagine telling yourself ten years ago, "Yeah, nigga, my W two just came in from delivering delivering weed." weed. It's crazy because, like, when my early like early senior year, I was, was kind of what I was like doing for a minute, and then like now listening to these like like seeing all these weed shops put have these like delivery services i'm like nigga i could have yeah so weird and then also speaking of delivery service i think the uber like services are just taking over man they clean it especially yeah this, we were just talking about business. that earlier especially Door these dash. times yeah because uh, rich niggas don't want to leave their house nope. yeah i might stop like i might People put that sticker have cars up. and still grub hub still doing that yeah like, i, I mean, just you want gotta the most like i'll pay the 15 you gotta do something with all these niggas under quarantine College kids, yeah, a lot of them can't cook. Dorm. That's just so yeah. whack. 
Like, if you're a hustler, it's like it's prime time right now. Right? They said college, they won't let college kids leave their dorms. Right? They won't let them go home. It's going to be a lot of uh, dorm babies. Dorm babies. Shout yeah. out to all the future Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorns. Sagittarius. The, the Rona babies. The yes. Rona babies. This is going to be the generation Rona. Yeah. That's going to be some tough niggas, dude. Yeah. Truly. I was dog. born in the apocalypse. I was bitch. born in the apocalypse. It's going to be a bunch of little ass kickers. I was the post Rona baby. Okay. You can't kill me, nigga. All that ass kicking, them participation trophies going to do all that shit. Oh, yeah. I ain't like my, I ain't all, like my weak ass mama or daddy, nigga. My participation trophy was living through the Rona, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. I empathize with all the women that are pregnant right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I just met a pregnant chick. And I empathize with all at, of them. At Red Lobster. <laughs> at Red Lobster? <laughs> yeah, I had delivered. The, uh, I had to, uh, oh, I was like, what are you doing? Mom. it? I ain't eat no real. I ain't eat nothing. <laughs> <laughs> From a place. From these niggas, right? <laughs> niggas place. is eating Chinese food <laughs> and all kinds of shit. I'm hey, like, dog. Since what are y'all doing? Since coronavirus hit, nigga, your boy I have, has hit the Chinese. I had right there, on, I right there at uh, <laughs> Wayne State. That, uh, <laughs> that niggas is crazy. Dynasty. <laughs> Dynasty. Yes, I delivered, man. I mean, but I ain't get nothing crazy. I just got some shrimp fry rice. Right? That was it. Half of that shit. Plus. Szechuan puppy. <laughs> 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 Hey, you say what you want. That shit slap, bro. Hey, I, I, don't went, I, I don't went to Panda Express with it. If if it's dog, it's some good ass dog. It's dog. It's delicious. It's probably why most niggas still alive. Your immune system is excellent from eating that that shit. Yeah, that's probably delicious. where the shit came from. I've Something noticed. Probably was. I've noticed that Arab, like not Arabs, um, Asians and Middle Easterners don't give a fuck right now. Like, oh, you're nah. like, dog, you should be careful. You're like, I mean, but they, but, but look where they came from. Yeah, nah, I guess white so. men. They be like, look, we dealt with all kinds of shit. We don't give a fuck. It, it is like, nigga, just I, like I just the, shaking just like in the hood, like, of my head. Like when you cross <laughs> eight mile, everything is normal. It's just like, yeah, yeah whatever, nigga. I'm about to go. To, <laughs> I'm about to go to everything is open. Yeah. Every all the Captain J South the eight the miles Indians, open. All of yeah. these parents nigga. like, man, I, what am I supposed to do with these punk ass kids? They stuck yeah. in the yeah. Oh man, like businesses is booming. Shout out to all the parents and shout out to all the people in relationships that Hashtag just realize they don't kids. like they can't stand their kids. They don't like their kids, they don't like their kids and they don't like their partners. They be like, I just realized my girlfriend likes the color green. Who the fuck like the color green? <laughs> fuck this bitch. Take her ass back. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you going to find some shit green, out about your girl. Green, you don't know. green is a horse color. Anytime you spend more than eight hours with your girl, you're going to find something you don't want to know. Yeah. So like, Pen you ever so did that shit by mistake? So Pennsylvania has <laughs> shut down. Hours. Nigga, I, man, I had my to drive. <laughs> I had to drive to Florida with my ex one time. And we spent so much time in that car. I was kind of almost like, damn, I robbed you. <laughs> like, Oh <laughs> my god. I ain't gonna speak, I ain't gonna say who, but I'm just saying Nacho Macho coming soon. Like I'm just saying though. Eight hours is a long time to discover something. Box, discover something about Justin if you know. But I mean but, shit, like some like man, what is it what is that like for you like the school year to be canceled before spring break? Like that's no, all I also want to empathize with the uh seniors who are missing man. out on a moment of their whole lives. That they've so been waiting right. for no prom, you know what I'm saying? No senior trip, yeah. no graduation. I mean, I, I guess this on shit one hand, this is shit is literally like after the Thanos snap when everybody got brought <laughs> yeah. back. At least we ain't gotta see them crazy prom pictures, dog. <laughs> That's fact. This <laughs> buying mate was it my box and all I, that I stuff. Guarantee you in some, and I guarantee you, the summer they gonna give a lot of them kids a prom anyway. Yeah, right. I mean, I mean, but you and still deserve a prom. They just I, gonna postpone it. Yeah, they, they gonna postpone the fuck out of it. That's all. Yeah. Know, yeah, probably, but I, I've heard we may not be back in school until September, man. Damn. Ooh, that's the next fucking yeah, yeah. And, it's uh, it's that damn. bad. Funerals is being Shit. live streamed. Funerals are being suggested to be live streamed. <laughs> Why is that, nigga? <laughs> Because it's so ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Hey, hold on, player. Just sit tight. <laughs> we can, right. We're we, we, we going to get you. You know what the best part about a live we stream? You, you know what the best part about a live stream you. funeral is? You got is? some time. You know what the best Stay part about a live stream funeral is? Put that put that any, casket over there. Any nigga that I just picture some nigga look like weekends that Bernie just any up. nigga that be talk. Oh, you mean like that uh like the Puerto Rican dude that they buried in the tra in the tracks? They buried the tracks. The one nigga that was playing 2K dead. Dead 2K. I think, I think the best With part the about Celtics, 
Celtics uniform on. I, I think 2K. the best part about a, a possible live stream funeral is no nigga has to go on for more than two minutes. Cut that nigga off. Yeah. Hey, but the best Cut one I seen stream. was that they had the drive through boy. Drive through funeral. My yeah, nigga. you could just you walk, you pull up. You, what, what the fuck does that mean? White man made that shit up, nigga. That's, <laughs> that's the one I seen, dog. So just, just you, you ain't never seen. Glass. Look at her. It's a it's a drive through. So look you pull glass, up, second. you hit the button. The dude is like, woman stop, or, the, stop, stop, the woman stop, stop. That's in, about, in the casket. <laughs> that's about as dumb as a nap. Mark, yeah. remember, and, them nap and you sacks, raise and they raise it up. Your head sleep. That's about as dumb as that. So like, you in the casket. But I mean, comfort you, you sitting straight up, and then like it'll raise you up so you can, you know, the person can <laughs> see you. They raise you up, so like it's like a, a hydraulic, like a dead nigga vending machine. <laughs> yes, uh, that's exactly you what. Put it twenty five cent in there, and, and so <laughs> little, and then look, the curtain opens. You ain't making this shit up. Bro. I'm not making it up. Look he at, drink I'm this not, shit. <laughs> you came up with this shit they one night. Got look at you when you get some time. Look when they you and your, have when you go back to your <laughs> jukebox, <laughs> you gotta put your eyes into the viewpoint. <laughs> do it. Also shit, tell bro. your future when you go into. Do it. Also tell your future. You be like, when we'll you go, tell you listen, everything you need to know. When you, you, when you get, around. listen. When so you, get, you do this when you one person each time. They yes. Sit through the whole one by one. No, they, I mean, you can, you can hit the button and it'll, it'll close it. you down. I don't know how long you got. No, you're going to go to one but of I, these But things. from what I saw, is, is you hit a button, it opens up the curtain, and then the person is just like... <laughs> They, on some Undertaker rise shit. Look like, rise. like Dracula and shit. Like, look, you in the coffin. Oh, rise, chicken. I mean, because you got to see them because if they laying flat. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand the oh, logic. Rise, nigga. Because if they was laying flat, oh, you can't really nigga. see them. So you oh, in a drive through and in a body box. Do they play so. music? Well, it's in a glass. It's in a glass. Is it music? So, oh, how man. they rotate the bodies? Is it like one of them records in them old motherfuckers? What you call it? Like, Dog, God, like the motherfucker. He claw in the motherfucking happy place. Jukebox just grab a dead nigga. Listen. <laughs> Look, I was high. Dead, nigga, I was high and dead, was going niggas. through the it's YouTube Thursday rabbit hole dead, of funerals because I had saw a show <laughs> where they stupid. had like crazy like funeral businesses and stuff like that. Is this in Las Vegas? I think it's somewhere yeah, down absolutely. south. I don't know. I don't know uh, the exact south, location. They got the drive through weddings in Vegas, yeah. so that yeah. might probably. Can you imagine across the street? From two here. weddings and a funeral. Can you imagine a funeral circus dog where they got like the dead it, niggas it, on it, trapeze? It, 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 dog. I yeah. thought you was gonna say on like the backs of elephants or something. Nah, they juggling corpses, dog. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, you can drive thing. through and uh, <laughs> see your beloved one. Uh, Let me see you this nigga one last look, time. If a nigga sends you to a funeral jukebox or vending machine, <laughs> you weren't loved, my nigga. I'm trying to figure out for all of the fucking effort it takes to send a nigga to a funeral jukebox is actually a very good name. You could have just buried the nigga, cremated him. No, the, it, that, oh, it's that's a, convenient. Is, is that the dead nigga storage that I mean, um, Quentin Tarantino yes, was talking about? I think that's what it is. Storage, That'll yeah. be the, that, we probably make that the name of this episode. Dog. The dead nigga storage. The dead <laughs> nigga storage. You can't put that. We get shit. The, the that YouTube shit algorithm logic, is gonna dog. kill. I'm that. telling you, dog. When y'all get when it, that's your homework. Look that shit up. A fucking drive through funeral. Look that shit up. It's gonna blow that shit up right now. It's gonna nigga. blow your mind. Nigga. You I want to see them putting the nigga in it. Right I want to see them putting the nigga in the box. Is it like a? Is it like a security box? No, it's like a regular casket. Like you in a regular casket. I saw a lady. It was but a they picture sitting you of a maid. So you could be looked at. What was it uh, mean? She was in a clear casket. Oh, that shit sound dope. Clear casket. Yeah, she. They had her done up and shit. So it was. It's kind of dope. I want my so, shit to be is. extra. I don't know. I, I, I don't up. know, man. I don't, I figure I'm going I'm to just be cremated. Holy I don't even want to. Shit is to the fucking teeth. I don't. <laughs> exactly I told you, man. Is. I was look, like a fucking bank window. Look, nigga. Uh, I was a bank window. Yeah, it's you pull up. Now, if they shoot the dead niggas through like that tube, did you see your? <laughs> they had a tube for the dead nigga. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna be it's cremated. So none window. of this shit. These niggas. All they did was convert a uh, uh, MBD. Into, into a, a motherfucking yeah. funeral. That's what they I'm saying. Took a, they Why? changed the bank into a funeral. Why? Yeah. Like I said, nigga. That's an old MBD window. Why wouldn't you just go in? Because niggas maybe, is lazy. Maybe you ain't they got time. Got chapel, maybe you ain't got time. Up. Maybe, 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 just maybe you didn't really How do you fuck? not have time to pay your respects? Well, look, maybe. It's a nigga in charge of it. There it is. Yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 Dead homies, you, you probably ain't got enough time. You like, That's a sloppy idea. I agree. But niggas is I mean, niggas is doing it. Niggas is doing it. Very insensitive. It's so, to use that. with niggas staying at home, with niggas being out of jobs, Trump 
proposed, Trump and a bunch of other people proposed a couple thousand dollar payouts. Apparently, it's going to be like shout out to Big Trump. 15, shout out to the big homie. Big homie. <laughs> Cra- yeah. Big big Trump out here cripping oh, on these niggas. Yeah. 1500 for all adults uh, that's making under $75,000 Trump year. about to get y'all niggas together for, for a few bands. I can't yeah. wait to see all the bitch ass niggas that cried about this nigga cash they motherfucking Man, checks. The internet went nuts after I posted that shit. You know what's uh, funny about it, dog? All these niggas talk about... Eh. Socialism, these are socialism checks. You know what? When the fuck were the Cubans and the Venezuelans gonna get their checks? And why the fuck didn't they leave their country when they got right. their checks? Cuba has the best medical system in the world. Okay. Then why the fuck why did Fidel you? Castro go to Spain to get stimulus treatment? Bars. USA, baby. Shut the fuck up, niggas. Stimulus package. You know, you know the reason why right. you know the reason why you can talk that socialist shit in a capitalist country is because you can't go to uh you can't you can't do the reverse. You can't go to Cuba and be like, why didn't Fidel get seen by no Cuba? Fidel doctors? come see you. That's when they gonna come shoot you in front of your fucking family. Fidel nigga. come see you, and that'll be the last thing you see. Could you imagine Saturday Night Live in China, nigga? That should have never happened. Hell they, no. The Chinese first episode be the last the episode. Chinese <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't laugh in China. The Chinese literally, they literally the removed. Korea. Winnie right. the Pooh from the entire internet in China because somebody China made a picture of Winnie the Pooh that looked like Xi Jinping, the wow. Chinese president. So they removed Winnie the Pooh off the whole motherfucking yeah. internet. Ain't and you niggas shit. is talking that shit. Shut the fuck Look, up. No, them dog. niggas ain't sweet over there, dog. <laughs> ain't shit sweet ain't over shit there. Sweet over there. Shit. That's be, happy, baby. be happy here where you yeah. can live in a fucking country where you can be so goddamn fat that you can develop Thanks. food allergies, nigga. Out of nothing. Can you imagine, nigga, homeless niggas with food allergies? What the fuck is Man. that, dog? Right. Oh, I can't eat. That's not gluten oh, free. Oh, you dirty it. ass nigga. You ain't washed your ass in two weeks, Shit. but you can't eat this you sandwich. Can't eat I can't. This. I can't be in the same room as peanuts. I gotta watch my right. carb. Can't bro. be in the same room. Look, I'm not talking Pussy about. Look, I'm not talking about those kind of food allergies, like shellfish, peanuts. These are historical food allergies. I'm talking about niggas with the fake food allergies. Up. Uh, I'm hungry. Could you please give me some money for some food? Or oh, I only eat gluten free, free range. I told you. I, I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll beat your bum ass. Nigga. I told <laughs> you, you this, sandwich. this nigga told I'll me he was like, man, I was like, he was like, uh, I offered to give him some money, but then he was like, well, I mean, <laughs> does that come with non saturated fats? Or? And then, and then I was like, you know what, bro, I'm gonna just get you some Subway. And the nigga was like, those man, are sat- those are saturated fats. I can't, I don't, I don't want no subway. <laughs> and I I'm, looked at him like, what? I'm a non uh, GMO. So oh, I, I bought a, I bought a subway <laughs> sandwich. You, you don't fuck with Jared? He just was like, man, I don't That's like that you. subway, I man. He was like, I, he was like, I, 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 so I get excuse? something else. I just don't like subway. I don't want them diddler sandwiches. And so I'm like, well, <laughs> diddler, I ain't but never, I'm a, it but perplexed I'm me because I ain't never heard a bum like just off the rip just. Not take food, Diddler sandwich. Diddler sandwich. And, and I'm like, okay, so Bum but you know what? You I'm like, I was, yeah, I, really I was a little. That speaks more to Subway. Oh, that that Damn. does. Damn. That, Bum, would be, that, would dope, that really that would be a dope ass Quiznos commercial. If somebody just went around on some Thai <laughs> grease. <laughs> Bum, bums won't even eat your sandwiches, nigga. I don't want this shit. Bums don't even want these goddamn sandwiches. Quiznos. Take your twelve inch and shut that shit. That well, would be their new bitch, version. That would sponsored, be bitch, sponsored that would by be, Quiznos. That would be the new version of We're Toast. not Subway. That would We're be not the, Subway. In that would be the new version of Toasted Subs, nigga. Hey, that, and that, that commercial, nigga, Subway let me tell you something. Ugh, nigga. That that those are roasted. Roasted. That stuff. Quizno commercial where them niggas look like chitlins with eyes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They clean those eyes. <laughs> I hate the nigga bitch. Good. That shit was terrible. That was legendary, dog. <laughs> You just have to play that music trying to feed some bums. Legend. Uh, trying to feed some bums some fucking like. That shit was great. You see some bums elbow dropping Subway sandwiches. <laughs> Dog, but yeah, I was I was, I was kind of hot. I almost run to run the fade. Sandwich. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just eat this bitch. I'd have, put on, I'd have put on some gloves and beat that That's what I ended up dog. doing. Put on some gloves. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get your hands bummy. I ain't touching no hobo Hell no, skin. I ain't you touching don't, no. You don't want to get your hands bummy. I ain't going to lie. I, it's a couple of bums I run to run the fade with, especially in Greek town. But because they so dirty, yeah, dusty, you, you got yeah. that nigga ain't got nothing to lose. I ain't see no bums. Yeah, because the nigga got mad because I ain't typical. Because nigga started playing the saxophone in front of me, and I'm like, hey, bro, I, don't, I ain't trying to hear yeah, that. Some I'm like, right. yeah, some like the nigga came over to like he, you know, he started and he like 
That nigga on some Kenny G. G as I'm in, like, G as in like, grouch. I'm like, nigga. I'm, I'm sitting there trying to get Kenny on hoes, man. Get away from me. Like, he was like. And it and it got awkward because like I ain't even I'm by myself. Nigga, so I don't want to hear you play the thing. Are you trying like I kind of almost took it offense? Like, nigga, you trying to serenade me right now? Like, nigga, I might hit you just but for that. And so he was just kept doing it. I was just like, I don't want to hear you play the theme song of Sanford and Son. I'm sorry. I need you to get the fuck away from me. And then so like then he came back and was like, Hey man, he like, hey man, you ain't gonna. You know what I'm saying? I just uh, I just did a song for you, blah blah blah. I'm like, you know about the, I didn't ask. I did it for you. Listen, miss, <laughs> I'm like, hey man, get the fuck on. Listen, like, listen, <laughs> listen here, Mr. Bum. I'm listen, like, get the fuck on. Listen dog. here, listen, miss, listen here, Mr. Piss my pants today, <laughs> Mr. Pissy pants. You're not about to pity tax me, nigga. Yeah, right. man, get the fuck on, man. I, I, I ain't got time for your pity tax and awkward songs, nigga. I just did a whole song for you. But the crazy part, they won't even do that to song. white people. Wanna that's what bothered me. Right, they got the real money. Like the White man was sitting like standing like uh, uh what's that pizza place uh pizza pop white people Popper. don't have soul so they can't stand <laughs> I was like dog why you ain't creep you over know. to that nigga he probably got more money than me he was yeah. like little oh, brother brother a, that's why oh my god right, right. nigga I need some help from you. That yeah. brother should be making. That brother should be bringing the inner cane out of my brother, ass. Nigga. I, can't, uh, I can't ask. I can't ask him because I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid of that. Man. But you. I like you. Mostly like give me the money. You, brother. You gotta give me the brother. money. You my brother. I'm not your bro, bro. I'm bro. not your bro, bro, bro. I'm not your bro. 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 Bro, 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 bro. I can't yeah. do it, dog. Like I said, man. <laughs> niggas, niggas. So dusty ass, huh? <laughs> Punch a nigga into a cloud of dust. <laughs> Niggas really gonna be dusty now since they can't leave the house. Shit. Oh, I might have to sanitize bro. after that. So nah. th- during the cor- during the full quarantine, oh, this is the- should I even say this? Say it. Fuck nope. it. Uh, does a bum get in trouble for walking around in the street? I was thinking that. That's a good question. Like well, he is home. Look, like get back in your box. He, he is like, home. <laughs> <laughs> Quarantine a nigga back to the box. I mean, that was bum, fucked up. I know. This I'm just bum shaming. Like, this bum shaming. If shame you for arresting great. niggas, social if, services. If I walk out of my house and you say you put a gun on me, and say get your bitch ass back in the house. Nigga, we on quarantine. If that nigga peek his head out of box, you be like, <laughs> you better get back in your <laughs> fucking refrigerator box. Get back nigga. in your social box, services, bitch. Social services ah. are being set up right now. Ah, wait. Social what? services are being set aside Look, to put shelters back. In okay, but say that. Okay, so we got a hashtag. That begs the second question then. Why the fuck ain't you putting them in there in the first place? Look, who's more social distance than a bum? We're not exactly practicing social distancing ourselves right now. No, right, exactly. We're so we're about as guilty as a bum outside during quarantine. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga know, breaking curfew. I know, I know the best. <laughs> Let me get back to my box. Let me get back to my box, nigga. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah, trying to deliver laugh. mail to a bum, nigga? I, I'm How right, does man. a bum get What's, his ass? One, two, three, Box Street. What Tell him for a 12 for a swag. What the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> I started this. That's my fault. It is your fault. That's yeah, my fault. I mean, I figure it's just Hunger Games Box rules with them niggas. Shout out to the armchair doctors Same online. Same nigga. Giving bad medical advice. Shout out to all you <laughs> niggas that spent $30 on masks that ain't even going to work because the fucking virus is two microns small. Particle wise, so it's gonna go straight through your mask. I don't get the mask, bro. I saw. I wash saw, your hands, saw, niggas. Listen, wash your hands. I saw. And wash a, your ass. I saw a woman at the grocery store earlier with a mask kind of on, niggas. and she was shopping with snow gloves on, nigga. Snow gloves. Kill yourself. Nigga. Her hands probably sweaty as shit, dog. Sweaty on the inside and covered in filth. The worst. Germs. The worst I've seen uh, last summer. I saw. I was winter. in Myers. I seen somebody with a garbage bag. On their face, she had the garbage bag tied Come on, around man. her face, and I'm just looking at her. She probably like, had actual garbage. In I'm it. like, you know, yeah. you probably actually had, yes. like you said, had garbage or something. Like <laughs> garbage dirtier than that. I'm than like, air. what? And she, it's Myers. Niggas it, dumb. It's Myers. All right. See what this shit about See to be a true day. example of Darwinism, nigga. See yeah, what? it's taking us out. It's, it's gonna take day. out the dumbest of the dumb niggas first. Shout out to all those niggas in Florida right I, now. I know, I, I know niggas yeah, out here going all on all the thirty dollar flight niggas. All the niggas yeah. going on vacation. I'm going to Jamaica. Like you, you, you ain't gonna come back. I know so many people going to Mexico. Bye I'm team. like, why would you want to go to Mexico? Mm. I some some Mexican was like, come to Mexico. We created Corona. 
We got Corona factors. Man, I wasn't trying to go there before the virus. <laughs> yeah, that dude got it. What's in Mexico? Nothing. Uh, Cancun. But, but trees and Cancun, the, but and like jungle niggas. Ready tacos to take is you. in Mexico, nigga. Tacos is everywhere. Once tacos I heard they was at they had civil war a long t- like not too long ago. Yeah, narco war. Yeah, narco war. I was like, man, you I ain't going no place there. where they still doing civil wars. I, Fuck I, I made the mistake. Narco. You want to go to somewhere that had a narco war? I mean, I, I made the mistake. Wrong with you. Uh, we went to Co- I went to Cosme a long time ago, like like early teens. Border town. Yeah, and they were like they had. People with AKs and assault rifles. I went, at, I at went each to Tijuana corner. and saw so the I property. Like, oh, and no, I, said, I don't need to nah, be here. I canceled my excursion. Like they Tijuana like, is really sad. We got poverty here. Why would you want to go to another impoverished? Because it's place? exotic poverty, nigga. The same way, <laughs> the same way niggas interracially date ugly <laughs> bitches. Uh, you like your bees out somewhere else, nigga. The same way niggas, <laughs> the same way niggas date inter- interracially date ugly bitches, dog. It's that's an excuse. Right. Yeah, that's, that's what, right. You yeah. see all them Asian chicks with the tape and shit on their face when we was doing the makeup tutorials. Uh, yeah, I showed y'all that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. It was speaking it, of that. It wasn't if y'all want to check that out, we when, did a when, review when, on that on Hard. That R. shit scared the shit. Oh out. yeah, Hard R coming soon. The R, hard R is, is for coming review. soon. Yeah, ain't nothing but a little clout chasing. A little clout. Them I mean, chicks' faces scared the shit out of me. You talking about like because it's it's all of those. Take the makeup off, expose. Nigga, shit. it was a it was an ultra beat transformation, like power. Oh, nigga, that's, a fucking that's why I said if you got too much makeup on, I just automatically assume that you're not a woman. Exotic yeah. poverty. That's right, that's yeah. <laughs> Gluten free chicken nuggets. I stomp your guts in, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> on some Stone Cold Steve Austin. Gluten nuggets. Four Gluten beers, nuggets. four beers, 15 minutes into the match, slapped you against the turnbuckle. I will stomp <clears throat> your motherfucking guts in. Talk about gluten free. Hey, shout out to Stone Cold. Didn't we just, didn't they just have Stone Cold there? <laughs> he yeah. said, Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, hey. Shout out to my homie yeah. B Foreman. It was his birthday on uh, Stone Cold. Day. Happy and nobody respond because there wasn't nobody in the audience. Yep. So, it was just uh, St. Patrick's Day. Like, St. Patrick's Day just went and came. And so we it. had our own little version of the shit. There's been a lot of news that hasn't been making the news. Right? Truly, because Corona's been everywhere. I don't know shit that's bad. It was kind of hard for me we, finding we topics our, for the show. We had our own little version of the goofy shit that's going on in Florida right now with uh, the St. Patrick's Day <laughs> niggas downtown. <laughs> Like, that's pretty much what caused Whitmer to close down the casinos. Niggas was out there drunk and in the streets. Oh, they ain't give a fuck. Yeah, I guess we're not talking about Kobe anymore. Yeah, yeah we so moved on. I guess yeah. uh, Corona overshadowed him. Yeah, yeah we're not talking Which about... Which is funny because Kobe is buried in Corona Del Rey, California. Yeah. Ooh. Now maybe said, that's why this uh, happened. Uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, this is... The door has been open for oh, conspiracy. Let me, back. let me he get co- my tinfoil hat. He's coming back for Gail. Koofy oh, time. Oh, this Koofy is, time. This is the revenge of Kobe. The revenge. So he planned this before he died? No, I mean when he died, he was like, "Man, fuck all these niggas talking shit about me." Virus. You talking about Kobe Force virus? Everybody. Force. He will. Yeah. He Kobe. He. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Y'all niggas ain't gonna never buy hand sanitizer again." Do better. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. Twenty-four months of famine. We jumped the shark, y'all. Eight months. Shout, of- out, <laughs> shout out to the fact we that the store the shelves are still clear of hey. hand sanitizer. Lysol, alcohol, and peroxide, but it's still plenty of soap. Eight months of no toilet paper. Still plenty of toothpaste. What about, I mean, what you about Tom you? Brady? Oh, Tom yeah. Brady's a that Buccaneer a, now. That was a topic on I have had wrote down. I, I think that's, uh, well, they said, because isn't the Super Bowl going to be in uh, Tampa? Oh, shit. If it happens. I think that was very it might strategic. Cancel the year. Who that knows? might be his, you know, last time and retire. In that's Tampa. gonna be that's gonna be that's where gonna this be shit smart. really goes down when these stupid white motherfuckers, because they the only ones that can afford NFL tickets, go to these goddamn NFL Jesus. games. That's they they didn't build them stadium stadiums for niggas, but you'd be surprised. Like, oh shit, a nigga in the first row. <laughs> niggas be way back, nose bleeding. <laughs> you mean shit. like that one token nigga that's always in the front row of a Trump rally? It's like right <laughs> all the way up <laughs> to the bottom shine. to the bottom hey, of man, Trump. They be, tear, they, 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 they be tearing him some pages. Most we uh, get to the games, we go to Buffalo Wild Wings and watch this shit. And we right, sometimes right. be standing like man, I just Listen, bro, Wild Wings and watch ain't nothing, especially for a Lions. Ain't nothing ain't like being paying. like back him. in the days of the prime. Pay me to watch this shit, and I still might ask my money. The Spider, what's his name? UFC dude, the Spider Anderson Silver. Back in the days of Bone Jones and Anderson Silva's prime, what nothing more lit than going to UFC Buffalo and all the motherfucking drunk 
MMA fighting commentators with the tap out shirts on and <laughs> watching them niggas shut the fuck up as nah, the person my favorite they ones, for a loss. Yeah, they hate yeah, they the black dude nah, win. My, my favorite one is the Mayweather fights, though. Them early Ooh! Mayweather fights. <laughs> like the Mike Donovan. <laughs> that last one we that one we did at Wayne State with that was my favorite. That I was in was I was in Texas hilarious. when uh, was it was it Carnello? Canelo. And it was just uh, the energy, the hate energy was so Is that the deep, nigga that tried bro. to hug him or kiss him or something? Yeah, they like they were I like that shit. A whole bunch of whole bunch of tough, you know, Mexican dudes was in the building talking that. Rest in peace, you know, uh, Rest in peace. He's to not the OG you know, Roger fuck, Mayweather. Fuck America. Oh, yeah, R.I.P. You know? R.I.P. Roger. Yeah, R.I.P. Roger, man. That was like his father. That was like his father. Yeah, it was his uncle. Yeah, but it was but like, but basically, like, yes. like his father. But he, that's, that's uncle that's, and his trainer. Yeah, that's the. Uh, he's like most people father. don't know shit about boxing. That's one of my that's favorite him, phrases. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he was like a father figure because while his dad was in jail. I mean, he held him down. He held him oh, down. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, but, yeah, like the energy during that Canelo fight, nigga. Uh, the, the, and I had my TMT gear on. Yes! I was yes! trolling them motherfuckers. Me and my cousin CJ was in that bitch. Look, we was way Every time they slipped up, we was right there. We was right there. I remember we was like, oh, okay, we're going to wait until it get real saucy. Then we're going to put this, we going to hold the shirts up. And then what made it even better while we was. We was buying up beers and not drinking them, right? Just had a bunch of them. Just had a bunch of them. So at the end, we could just celebrate and shit. Oh, my God. And so <clears throat> it was perfect because, like, these black girls came in and they had TNT. And so we was putting them in the front and having them go at it. And they could we was using them as armor because, like, they couldn't can't really, do nothing to y'all. They the can't do nothing to them. Money. And it was a it, the, shout out to the I don't remember the, the young lady's name, but she was she was a little she was a little husky, but. Shout out to her. She, she, she barely as offensive she, guard. Man, she was ten toes Pulling down guard. with the TMT, calling them some hoe ass niggas Woo! and shit. He's a bitch. That next kid dude, he's a bitch. And, then, and we was like, ooh, get, don't give I was fuck. like, ooh, give her some shots. Let's give her some shots. <laughs> Turn her up. And we had her going. She was saucy. She a, she a thought. Get her lit. Nah, she was saucy for like the full. The whole time, and, and so the worse. whole time, the whole time like when she got up. in, she was cooking, and then she just couldn't stop. And I was like, "Man, we got to keep getting her drink." Y'all niggas could have got jobs. So and when we, and when when Mayweather won, <laughs> when he knocked him out, when he knocked him out, that was the best part because like, because like it was dead silence because it was at Hooters. It was, and it was, you know, like, Hooters is super packed. Like it's full I, of just people. I saw that fight on Lucky at Lucky's on Jefferson. Oh, oh, shit. oh shit! That was the only time I've ever been at that. Lucky. Get the strap. Yes, I had, a, I had an Asian bitch with me. She was holding what? me down. She was holding me. And you ain't down. get jumped? Of course not, because she was there. She was fucking, savages niggas. Like, Man, this nigga ain't she would have kung, kung fu them niggas. But look, they grown them. I got there. I got there at the last kung round. Flu. I got there on the last like round when it happened. And like, as soon as I was, got in there. He punched. He tried to hug him. Then he punched that nigga. Yeah, he punched. And him. he knocked him out. And like, soon as he hit the ground, niggas in Paris came on. Don't, don't, <laughs> I was like, this is the greatest shit of all time. You talking about niggas going crazy in the place? Uh, it was that dead. shit was crazy. It was dead silence. It Some was just... drunk doughboy bought a, bought our table a whole plate of chicken and one of them fighting. Like, <laughs> like, oh, he bought a whole plate of wings. It was like, fuck it, them my niggas. None of us knew that nigga dog. Nah, Everybody on we, niggas, I just remember we was in the street. Like once we got out of the building. The streets was wild. Like it was just, every black person we saw, we was like, "Oh shit, TMT!" Like niggas just taking the shirts, going crazy. Mess Low niggas key, obviously was those, hot. Those are some of the most dangerous moments in 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 the world. But I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Hey, when the, you there at the time of like the consolidated of nigga energy, yes. <laughs> no, that shit man. Be lit. The greatest moment of the greatest energy. moment of consolidated nigga energy for me was <laughs> probably. CNE. Listen, it was either the release, coin it was the release of a pair of Jordans, man. Oh no. Oh, yeah. This is straight out of a motherfucker. I felt that energy before. Man, it was like oh. 4 35 in the morning, bro. That and mall that at Northland know, Mall. I man. knew it. At the Ugh. entrance with the big glass. Listen, oh, yeah. man. Oh. As soon with as somebody boogaloo? With the boogaloo listen, you statue. can you can feel the panic of the security guard <laughs> as they walk to the door <laughs> to open it. Keys as shaking soon, and shit. As soon as he opened it, you could see the wall. The whole wall was being pushed down. It was like, bro. go. Like, glass shattered. 
Like, I don't know. It was just like, I don't know. So many people, so much pressure. The glass shattered. Jesus. People no, started music flying. Came on. Bro, people started what, Now, was it for the... Now, which, which release was it? Was yeah. it Space Jam? Was it the 12s? Yeah. Was it the 12s? No, no, it was just for some 11s. For 11s? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, More niggas. Because I ain't gonna lie. When at the Space Jams, niggas was about to get oh, dead. Oh, I know. I know, man. I, I was at Oakland Mall when I got mine. I was like, this and People dumb. dropping their hats and their coats as well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, man. What's that shit? What did they call it in Dragon Ball? The shit that turned niggas into the apes? The motherfucking... Oh, word. the Azura. The, the Azura. Azura. Uh, a Jordan release is most definitely... <laughs> <laughs> Azura. Azura it, it energy, was, That was my most concentrated Const- nigga energy mode. Was it? My, my, until... Oh, he got a more con- yeah. consolidated nigga energy. Until though. the Pistons won. Oh, hey, man. Nigga. That's the one. The whole city. That's the, the one. The quiet street on the, yes. in the fucking city, bro. Oh, yes. 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 Heard up. Uh, Traffic yes. was at a standstill. Because we wasn't supposed to, like, nobody. Nobody paid. had us winning, dude. Nobody had Detroit nobody. No one. shit. It was all LA, the super team. That was definitely a motherfucker. That was a great. That, yeah. that, yeah. that, that nigga Chauncey Billows was like, give me all your energy. <laughs> that nigga won. I do have to guard Kobe. That was amazing. We have to guard Kobe. <laughs> Tayshawn, that was like, Wallace, you have to guard Shaq. Tayshawn was, a, was, the, was the key. That yeah. block X factor to that whole game. That Reggie, he he killed Reggie Miller's career with that fucking yeah. rundown. Dog. That, that will go in history. Dog. History. Yeah. Yeah. That City was that year or the next year, the last year that Kobe and Shaq played together? That next was the year. year. That was the we year. We broke them niggas up. Basically, they broke yeah. it. Shout out. We broke the destroyer so of dynasties, nigga. Yeah. The yeah. Only, only the Pistons. Lakers, Celtics, and you Lakers. know I hate that they don't give Chicago, the original Pittsburgh. bad boys that type of credit. They'll give any Detroit I'm not going to lie. They'll to you. give any Detroit I've talked to, I always hated I've talked that to shit. a lot of older niggas that are IT dudes that are in the sports mm-hmm. in different parts of the country. Dudes from, you know what I'm saying, Boston. Dudes from New York. Dudes oh, from LA. All of them, when they talk to me about sports, you can just tell that there's just like some vitriol on the tongue. Niggas can't stand the Pistons, though. Yeah. Oh. They hate the way they, they don't play. Like, they don't really want to include us book. in the book, you know, as the record. Oh, because we was vicious. But check this shit out, though. We did it. They're like, oh, we, that was a fluke. We learned that <laughs> shit from Boston. Boston was right. the first team to they walk off the fucking court niggas. without shaking somebody's hand. They yep. did that shit to us. So exactly. then when we do the niggas want to dick suck Jordan, yo, know, you walked off the court, didn't say Jordan. The Boston did that shit first. Blame Larry Bird. And Boston had nigga. goony ass niggas too. Like you yeah, those, yeah. Those, yeah. those Detroit niggas is too goony though. Yeah. They too goony because they, they have got, too many blacks. They got that get back and they yeah, couldn't handle it. Fuck them niggas. Because you black. Oh, yeah. See, we have white goons. We have professional yeah, goons. professional goons. Shit, we had white goons, nigga. Oh, we had the Bill, white goons. Bill, 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 we had the white goons. Bill, 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 nobody Bill likes Bill Lambeer. Lambeer. Nobody likes Bill Lambeer. Lambeer. Bill Lambeer. 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 Bill Lambeer. 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 <laughs> Man, what, that you, that could really stab your ass. Yeah, <laughs> that ball spot was not to be played with. Hell at yeah. all, nigga. At, at all. That whole ass nigga <laughs> caught that ball and looked at that bitch and looked yeah. up and looked at that bitch and shot that. Yeah, now, now, this consol- nigga's a piece consolidated of shit, nigga energy is like when you. Oh like, my god! It's like when you're on the precipice of like sheer terror and absolute beauty. It's, it's like it's right literally there in the middle because yeah. a nigga moment could break off you. at any point. Yes, I, I feel this. Mo- moment in Detroit a lot. You probably get it in Detroit more than any other city because yeah, we the biggest black city in the whole fucking Facts. world, <laughs> goddamn. And like, right. you know, you can go, to, you can get it at the auto show. Don't go there. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't been to the auto show. The auto yeah. show was the most definitely consolidated nigga energy. Yeah, yeah. You can get it. That at was the, a nexus. You can, you can get it at the fireworks. You know, oh, I'm yeah. talking about old Detroit. Yeah. Pre, yeah. Not pre, new Detroit, pre, bro. Taste Bell Out. Pre 2010 Bell Out. Pre 2010 Bell Out. Yeah. Stay fair. For Stay sure. fair. You really oh, good. They yeah. shut the whole. They, they took, took all that shit down. Niggas was getting fucked up in all of them events, dog. I think you want to get shot. I so think next, fireworks, next to the 04 championships, I would say like my number two would be like the Obama What's going uh, on, Chris? presidency. Oh yeah, Obama oh, presidency. Was yeah, I think I think that was. Oh. You know something? That was actually tame. It was. It that was, was actually tame because I think Cause niggas cause felt like a sense of pride. Niggas it was crying more so than it was both. It was both pride but and out. It was. It was weird. It was weird energy. Like I at the time I was in Lansing, so it was. Right, that's a nigga. That's a nigga nexus. 
it, right? So East Lansing, East Lansing, Lansing. East Lansing. East Lansing. <laughs> and uh, I remember, I remember while we were waiting for the results, like we, was, I was in my apartment, but my apartment was like 10, 15 minutes away from Hubbard Hall. What I wouldn't have given to been in Howe, Michigan. Like you talking about? You don't want to be there to hung your ass. Listen, you know, shot your listen, ass. somebody's got to die. I just sat there, and when he won, and Barack Obama is now the president, I was still up. And just so, went. so this is what happened. you have been doing this listen, shit from a check, check this out. So, yeah. I'm li- we're in. Way, I'm in the apartment, Jesus. and like it's we'll dead silence. That night. Right, it's dead silence. There's nothing really. They announce it, and you can hear the the oh the. What? Like you can hear all that shit. The disappointment, all like niggas opening their windows, hollering. Talking about that white disappointment. Oh fuck. Like oh. I heard like I heard like a lot of that too. I could like to be honest, when I woke up in the morning, I expected them niggas to roll back the results to do a recap. So yeah. I I drove. Like I remember that. I got out my apartment. I was like, man, fuck that. We we just won. I'm going to the I'm going to where I'm gonna be welcome. So I drove all the way to Hover Hall. Total different energy. Niggas outside, my president's black. Yes, yes. Yeah. Goofy, goofy ass, cheesy ass, ass old, cheesy. Yo, niggas hot. Out, niggas standing on top of cars. And Let's go. It, it was, it was, that was like my number two energy like I had ever experienced. I haven't uh, felt a moment like that in a long time. Like I watched two, two niggas like literally legit cry. Yeah. It was because a lot of he won. Like I, I, like I never, I never thought I'd witness something like that. Like in history, like two grown ass niggas just crying. Kobe does. I seen it. Yeah, but that that's was like a different. That, but that's a different cry. Like I, I happy felt like cry. yeah, like I've never seen niggas happy, cry. genuinely happy yeah. cry. Like I thought yeah. that shit never existed. I'm like, I, I think you don't. get a moment like that every generation, probably like every twenty years. Yeah, know? I probably that. Yeah, that is probably like the most. That's number two for me. Like the O four is definitely number one because. We was punching niggas. That's down Detroit. There. That's that's something <laughs> yeah. different. That's we ran up special. on niggas that was wearing yeah. them Lakers jersey. Yeah, walking in every street. <laughs> we, we almost flipped the car. Shit. What year did Get On My Level come out? <laughs> that was like oh five. No, that, 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 it was like oh two or oh. It was like oh three or oh four. I think I was still in high school. Never, never ever. Oh, you you right. That, that was, was it. Was no, it was oh three. Something yeah, I was still in high school. something supremely ridiculous happened to oh three, and I just remember that shit was just on repeat. <laughs> get on yeah. my level. It, get on my level <laughs> and uh, throw your hood up. Throw your hood. Up. That, that, that all that all that little John shit. I was, that little John yeah, shit. John niggas shit was, was getting stomped out. Which, right. which was That's, all he was getting niggas ass. Which was Be all birthed. Which was all birthed by the fucking player. Why you hating? Terry Six Mafia. Terry Six Mafia. Club Mafia of Thugs. The whole name of the band. Tear the club. Yeah. Of they got banned from playing in clubs. Like they can't even play their music in clubs. They just. Nah, no, niggas club. getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> the club was getting fucked up. The lyrics of the song is shoot the nigga. Yeah, shoot. It literally said shoot that nigga. Shoot, shoot that, that bitch. bitch. <laughs> yes. Bring that energy back. I don't have no choice Holes now. Going eight ball to MJG made. Don't make. Don't make. No, me the other kill. One. Me right. kill. <laughs> no motherfucking. The song that come on after that. So, uh, which one was it? Uh, nigga, which one was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bust a nigga oh, head. Yeah. Smack a hoe. Shoot the club. Bust, Bust a nigga head. Smack a hoe. Shoot the club. Bust. Bitch. You nigga. Go. Bitch. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> bitch, nigga, <laughs> bitch, nah, it turns solidated it, nigga. Nah, them type of music turned your nigga. average no, working no. nigga into a thug, <laughs> right, bro. Uh, like you was like, nah, why are you this height going, you like going know. to work? Oh, nigga, that, that just got me hyped. Like mail, like yeah. I remember, I remember seeing like the home. mailman <laughs> blasting that shit on his little <laughs> radio. <man. laughs> the mailman was blasting that shit. Your mail be throwing all over the yard. Aggressively throwing the mail. I'm like, dog, what's wrong with this nigga? I can just see Cat Williams doing that. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing the mail hard as fuck. I'm like, uh. Yeah. So what's on the horizon going forward from here, man, for Corona? What y'all project Jesus. For next week? Depending on a lockdown. Full shutdown, brother. You think so? I think it's going to be a full shutdown. Curfew. We, think, yeah, sure. we might have a, week, a month for this oh shit. They just reported today that uh, today was the first day that no new cases have been reported in Wuhan, China. Yeah, China. Yeah. But not in America. But, you know, it's you know? a narrative, man. They're just trying to say, oh, you know, don't worry. It'll be over soon. Do we have any tin, tinfoil hat theories? Anybody you want to share? Yes, oh, I want but I don't want to share it. I think martial law. I think martial law is coming. Martial law. Yeah, I but think you got to spell it. Hey, but you got to spell here. it right. You got to spell it. Right. I think. I, that, I think that if niggas would have conducted themselves better, they wouldn't have had to come to that. I man. will say this: if that money does happen, 
Oh, niggas I'm, gonna I'm be, putting, no, I'm putting it. I'm, I'm, I'm just putting it out there once. I'm putting it out there one time. Don't blow that fucking money, nigga. Don't I'm gonna blow. put it in the stock market. Don't I'm, blow that I'm fucking money. If you blow that money, I'm nigga, do, I'm gonna donate to Umar. You gonna regret it. Donate yeah. to Umar. Shit, I'm gonna It's not gonna be enough. Though. It's it not gonna, gonna be enough. Another coronavirus. Yeah. Next time, brother, make it two thousand. Make it two thousand. Make it two thousand. Try plans, nigga. Say next time, make it two thousand. Donate to Umar. That's not gonna be enough. Just warn yourself now. Yeah. I'm gonna descend it. I'm gonna descend it. A coronavirus. A coronavirus. And I might have a white wife, but I do not bring her. I do not. Bring. Why he always say everything <laughs> three, three times? Bro. You making sure it's stuck in your head. Nigga, that nigga, nigga, that nigga is a earworm. psycho, bro. It's an earworm, I, I nigga. really think he a psycho, dog. He crazy man. They just giving his psycho money, dog. This nigga right. has a real condition. That's not new, though. <laughs> they let white people be crazy. I feel like this nigga has Why a real you can't condition. let this black nigga be crazy? Said a white he, preacher that said, touch the screen right now. Because I, oh, I yeah. didn't hear you. Hear you the the I, hold, I hold that white nigga. I'm going to hold the same. I'm going to have that same energy, dog. Umar. With Umar, Fair. dog. Fuck all those churches we was talking about before we cut out of here. All those churches that are closed. Hmm? Oh, shit. Oh, there you go, man. You're like, I need all, those, most, nigga. all those churches that were closed. <laughs> y'all some true hoes, man. Y'all yeah. some true hoes. Yeah. Y'all yeah. supposed to bring in lepers and shit. New, 13 new comments. Nigga, practice what you preach, bro. Damn. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Hit some of those comments right quick. All I'm saying is practice Bust what you preach, head. bro. Smack a hoe. Shoot the club up. It was beautiful when Obama That's your name won. and show that. Mm -hmm. I went to the inauguration for Obama. I told Mike Bowen that I was going to be back Tuesday and got back to Detroit by Friday. I actually felt safe, <laughs> safe being on Joy Road. Shout out to Obama. <laughs> there, was no wow. there was no violence. There was no violence that day. It was true peace, dog. Shout out it to was Mike beautiful. Bowen. The outage, the, the power outage of 2003. I that's, where I yeah. that's where I heard it. Yes. That's where I heard it. Get on my level. Get on my level. Yes. Y'all, it was in the summer. Hey, man, that power outage was fantastic. So fun, Nigga, we hit, we hit, we, we got so much shit. Oh, yeah, that had to be a... Uh, Niggas was looting. Niggas Not Marshall looting. Dillon. Florida went wild. I had, yeah. man, that was a good day for me, dog. Day, I, man. Made some, I made some extra coin. Yes. Got some ass. Yes. Yeah. I, I got some... I even got some ass when the Pistons lost to the Spurs the next year. Shit. What? Yeah, that was a date. <laughs> like, wow. going to wow. see the Pistons play. And it, <laughs> we got man. robbed, dog. We and got still robbed. got laid. That's... Hey. Yeah. I think so. Hey, I low think key, key if you're spending some chicken on on the Spurs game, you you better be dropping some drugs. Yeah, I'm just saying <laughs> you better be dropping some. Drugs. I don't some care drugs. they lost. I don't Especially care they lost. Then, that's yeah. Who respect. who was it among you? Who was it among you ass niggas <laughs> that when I shared the news that Kevin Durant had the coronavirus? <laughs> What is but Kevin Durant. Durant. I was do, 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 niggas can never. Kevin Durant. I saw a nigga say Shout that. Out to B, I baby. saw a nigga say that because coronavirus is in the news. And of course, Kevin Durant would get on the team. Right, because he is yeah. winning. <laughs> niggas can't be serious about nothing. <laughs> nothing, dog. I, I told my boy, I was like, "Hey, Kevin Durant got uh, coronavirus." He was like, "Damn, I ain't no snakes could catch it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Nigga." <laughs> on that note. <laughs> Oh my god. Go ahead and plug yourself. <laughs> Jeez. Like, nigga. Hey. Go ahead and plug yourself before we cut out of here, dog. Well, you know, I just want to uh wish everybody a uh, happy quarantine. <laughs> you know, don't spaz out and use all your toilet paper. Eat all your food. Yeah, and um, you know, just stay educated. Throughout all of this, educate yourself. Know what now's the perfect really time to pick up a new skill, nigga. Yeah, like yeah. you said, it's, it's hustle times. Hustle time. time, baby. And God has a funny way of doing things. We may just be on pause right now, but it's not a bad thing to stay at home, eat healthy, and clean shit up. I mean, yeah, just whatever they're planning. Meditate. Yeah, whatever they're planning. There's nothing that we're Could gonna be able to do. So may God be with us. And um, hey. Much. Wash your hands. And wash your dicks. Don't forget to wash, wash your dicks. Wash your hands before you, you go to the bathroom and after. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody for listening to us. I had a underground tonight. We will be live again next week. Whether we were here or not is greatly dependent on the imminent martial law slash shutdown that might or might not be coming. But either way, the haddish will prevail. That's we're right. not going we'll nowhere, prevail. even though the disease is going to be everywhere. <laughs> Please be sure to listen out for us on every single place that you can find a podcast, Stitcher, Apple, Google, all the places you can find podcasts. We're all on Spotify. And we don't be shy. We global. Don't be yep. shy to show your boys some love. Cash app, PayPal, 
Venmo. Please hit that donate. Email. All please. that shit. Please, 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 please hit that Average donate. Underground. We try. want to thank y'all for coming out and listening to us. <coughs> please to be sure world. to check us out next week, live at 10 ish as per mm-hmm. usual. Mm-hmm. And until next time, this has been the Mighty Mighty Meta Baron. Tommy Green, Jay Illist. Jay Illist. Beat up. Corona Macho. <laughs> Voice the villain. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. Peace. 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 Uh, Corona Macho. Corona Macho. <laughs> <laughs>